double killer, bringing flavor to you. Deliver heat each week like it was catered to you. If it's real, best believe we gon' relay it to you. If it ain't the truth, I guarantee we ain't gon' say it to you. We use mics like girls use dildos. We gon' keep it coming till it's pouring out your ear holes. Airgasms, yeah, we been giving them. Them trash cans you listen to, get rid of them. Yeah, cause they don't sound like us. And if they do, then they don't break it down like us. They don't clown like us. Get around like us. We from the city, but they don't go to town like us. The flavor we been kicking is what you been missing. Although it's free, we gon' make you pay attention. And there's one more thing that we forgot to mention. Go ahead and like, share, subscribe, and then listen. Bootleg Cable Podcast. Flavor in your ear. Bootleg Cable Podcast. Yo, we back in the house. It's motherfucking Bootleg Cable Podcast number 84. I go by the name of P Double. And for all my church going folks out there, no mother effings and all that. You know, it's, sorry, I'm sorry. it's, it's, it's it is I, uh, humble Cal. All right, all right. You know, we, you know what, you know what? I was thinking about that. I'm gonna, yeah. try, I'm gonna try to keep it clean as I can for this yeah, episode, man. man. I'm gonna Listen, try to man. try to water it down a little yeah, bit, man. You I know, want my, I want my mama to listen to this episode, mama. Mama, <laughs> <laughs> what's good, man? Hey, man, everything's good, man. How are you? How are you? I'm, I'm good. I'm good, man. It's 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 pretty much hump day again. Yeah, yeah man. Happy Fourth of July! Bang, 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 bang. Let off these fireworks, man. Yeah, man. Hey, for Fourth of July, man. Mm-hmm. I posted this shit on my Facebook, right? Yeah. Please, please, y'all, everybody out there. On July fifth. Have the same amount of fingers and toes that you had on July third, please. I have no comment. I know please. people. I know people out there who don't have all. <laughs> and I, right and I, now, I wonder I, what they do. I heard about on that. July fourth. That's what I'm trying that. to say. But so, what I, what hey. I'm saying now is is you know what I'm saying. Well, shit. Still, yo, Florida. If you got man. eight fingers, yeah. if you got twelve fingers, man. Yeah. Please have the same number <laughs> on July fifth. That you started with. I right. <laughs> she started with on well, July third. Well, respect to that. Respect to that. Respect to that. <laughs> don't let well, don't let the liquor get to you. you know let, what I mean? Yeah. Don't let don't let nothing get to you. Man. Yeah, man. But, you know, why Florida so quiet though with it though? I wonder if any other states are a little bit more active leading up to Fourth of July. Like I feel like when I was in New York, man, leading mm-hmm. up to Fourth of July, it was like it was always on. And it was lit. But you know what I mean Right now I haven't heard One crackle or pop man. You know what man People down here Well one One yeah, You a, live in a nice neighborhood My friend Uh huh <laughs> And I live in a nice neighborhood okay. My friend Yeah So let's Let's not discount oh, okay, the okay. fact That we live in nice neighborhoods Oh okay okay So you said right? the hoods is out there So the, it, it might be a different situation In those neighborhoods okay. It's not as nice as the ones That we live in That's all I'm, That's not all I'm saying Gotcha 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 <laughs> So I don't know what's going down over there, but in, in my neck of the woods, it's yeah. pretty quiet. Now I, I appreciate that. Yeah, so, I do too as well. I do too as well. Yeah, for y'all that live in my neck of the woods, man, keep yeah. it quiet. I don't want to. I hear. got pets. They ain't trying to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> keep it down out there. I don't, don't want to hear fireworks gonna, all damn night. Firecracker Becky's calling the cops. Like, oh, exactly. listen, it's three days out. I don't yeah. know what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And you know they got nicknames for them now all yeah. the time. So what 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 would be the nickname of the of the white lady that's gonna call the cops on the on the kids that's that's playing a little bit too loud with the fireworks yeah, man, fire, before uh-huh. or even on the fourth of July or before or on the fourth of July <laughs> firecracker Fran yeah <laughs> <laughs> she gonna have right here fireworks Fran yeah <laughs> <laughs> my neighbors is out here uh you know a little bit too loud with the fireworks I'm it's, not sure if it's fireworks or it's not past, it's past past nine fifteen I think it's late right? enough. Right, <laughs> yeah, man. So, uh, for y'all that celebrate, man, uh, when and when I say that y'all, I say, I'm talking about y'all, mm. America people, M U R I C A, y'all, America motherfucker, mm. America peoples mm-hmm. that celebrate Fourth of July. Up, man. Yeah, man. So you need to get a swear jar, a like, swear jar uh, like uh, <laughs> Luke Cage. Luke Cage. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of which, man, yo, it's, I, I'm not mad at the season, man. I'm not mad at it either. I'm not mad at it either. Um, yeah, I'm not mad at this season. When, 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 I first, when I first started it, right? Yeah. And I was talking to the wife about it. Yeah. I thought it was super duper whack because the, they had the, the, the Jafakian accent. Oh, man. It was, it's horrible. It is. Oh, man. It, it's only horrible if I feel like if you are a Jamaican. You, you think know what so? I'm saying? Yeah, I feel like I don't feel like Americans are gonna. They, they don't how, notice. You're, yeah, 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 nah. 
They don't notice the difference. Nah. So is is it kind of like a British accent where, accent yeah, where yeah, we don't yeah, really yeah. notice the difference if it's yeah, a fake yeah. nigga or not? Because the actors on the screen, they look like they was feeling what they were saying. <laughs> <laughs> so it was it was one yeah. scene. It was sure, one scene. My. I'm there talking to the wife about it, and she was. It was like uh, I forgot what happened. Mm. Luke Cage had got blown up or some shit like that, mm. and a nigga got up and he was like Ross Clark. Oh yeah, yeah, but and me but, and the, but, and but, me but but that was intentional though. That was intentional, the, but me and the wife looked at each other, and we were just like, "Yo, like, even that's out of context. Uh, like, that don't require a Ross clot. That yeah, require yeah. a bumba clot oh, right okay, there. Okay, okay, so, you know what so I'm somebody, saying? Somebody should have told them. Yeah, like, <laughs> or, like it was out of bumba or blood. It can't be yes, Ross. Like, that's yes, like, uh, yes, yeah, yeah. You Ross, know what I'm saying? It says something happened to somebody else. <laughs> that or I think Ross I think that's more in the yeah. in the in the context of a conversation. Yeah, like yeah. Oh, y'all man think saying Ross clot bad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or yeah. man think saying bumba clot bad. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. It's not like a okay, something happened mm-hmm. to me and I'd be like Ross, Ross clot. Yeah, like, yeah. nah, that ain't nah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta <laughs> way, know when to use it. It's man. way out of context, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. after what's after, what's what's the um the the, the the, the 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 villain chick name again? Um, uh, villain chick? What? Yeah, the, not the villain chick, but the the, the boss chick, the the mom Miss, chick. Uh. The bo- oh, uh, Miranda. Miranda, yeah. Mar- Mariah. 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 Mariah, yeah, yeah, Mariah Stokes, Mariah Stokes, Mariah Stokes. Yeah, ain't no, it's not Dillard, it's Dillard Stokes. Stokes. <laughs> My man corrected every <laughs> every time, Stokes. every time. <laughs> <laughs> yo, but yo, man, I was I was getting a little bit of um, Wakanda, um, what's his name, um, Killmonger vibe off of Bushmaster, man. Yeah, like yeah. I was feeling like. Like I said, at the beginning, at the beginning I'm like, of the yo, season, Bushmaster, right though. At the be- <laughs> at the beginning of the season, yeah. I was like, yo, this is the worst fucking mm-hmm. villain ever in mm-hmm. history. Oh, you did? You said that? I was, no, I was like, yo, this nigga's and it was just because of the accent. Oh, okay, okay. But then as you watch it, and then even I read somewhere b- mm-hmm. before that, there was like, as you watch it, you find yourself rooting for him, where it's yeah. just like, damn, man, you know, this happened to him. Yeah, Brand yeah. And the family did this, da 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 da. You yeah, just man. Like, yo, I was right, like, nigga, yo, let me get me want a, you to win. Let me get a Bushmaster t shirt. What's yeah, going on? Yeah, yeah. Bushmaster. Uh, yeah, yeah, yo. Either him or Killmonger, man. Who's yeah. who's the man, really? Hey, did you watch the entire season? Yeah, I watched the entire season, man. So I'm, I'm on I'm on episode twelve right now. Yeah, so I think the, mm-hmm. right it's thirteen episodes. Okay, so okay. I got one more episode to go. Yeah, so. man. When when Miranda Stokes, you know, sat him down with the um with his cousin or his uncle. Mm-hmm. Anansi, and sit on Anansi, yeah, Anansi. and say, "Why go on? Why?" <laughs> she she killed it. She killed it with it. But listen, man, the accents was terrible. Yeah. However, the cultural references were dead on. I feel. Yes, 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 yeah, yes, yeah. yes. They did. They did enough research to get yeah. that part of it accurate. Yeah. But I just the, wish- and the attitude was right. right on too. Yes, the attitude and the cultural references went on. I just it's wish, just the accent I was not they, matching. They they needed a Jamaican consultant to be like. I think they did though. I think they did. I, but I think they, they would have got certain have. shit right, dude. Certain shit it was just like, yo, that don't. Dude, the Ross Clot was out of context, bro. It was <laughs> yeah. bad. Yeah, they should have said Ross Clot to the Ross Clot. That Ross Clot, not our work. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, no, man. Not our work. Yeah, 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 bonfire for that. Oh, come on. Yeah, sit down. Look at the grown again, Lee Kids. I ain't said bumba. Oh, I did it. Don't even say the clot part. Just say bumba. <laughs> You on fire, son. Yeah, man. But hey, man, if y'all ain't check it out yet, man, yeah. definitely, definitely check out the Luke mm-hmm. Cage uh, season two. Strong man. season, well written. I, I, yeah. I have to say, well written. But do you, do you like? All right, so mm-hmm. I know we was gonna talk about this at the end, but we might as well talk about it now since we're talking about shows. Yeah. So power is back, right? Mm-hmm. But says a kid with sound. But when I'm watching mm-hmm. Luke Cage, do you find that mm-hmm. some of the actors? And some mm-hmm. scenes and some lines come off super duper cheesy. Um, okay, and like yes, bad acting. yes, yes. However, mm-hmm. however, I, I, I a, a, a part of me uh, uh, appreciates that. A part of me, like, yo, look, man, I understand, man. They, they can't. You know, how much? How much more can you do? You know what I'm saying it's a short season. They're trying to get a lot in. You know what I'm saying? Thirteen episodes, short thirteen season? episodes, man, compacted in there. Let's let's get it all done, man. But not even not. I, I know what you mean. That. I know, especially um, dude, that being the barbershop with him, the young cat. 
Every time that dude had a fucking line, I was like, God damn, bro. cringe. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know who yeah. every time I and you know who the ultimate cheesy one is is Luke Cage himself. Oh hell yeah, <laughs> he's hell yeah, the, hell yeah. He's Mr. Cheese himself, man. Yeah, like some like a lot of it, it just come yeah, off real. It's, it's, it's a, it's a it, I love the show. Yeah, but it's, but just every every now and then you be like, damn, yo, that was mad cheesy. Like yeah. why they put that in there? It's, I, I I get it, I get it, I get it, and I, I'm I, I'm willing to look past that as long uh-huh. as as long as the story. Comes Comes together. If the story ends up being cheesy, like the reason why all this comes together and it's all cheesy, then yeah. I'm, I'm mad. Okay. But you know what I'm saying? A couple cheesy lines here and there, or you know what I'm saying? A couple just saying shit to say it. Like mm-hmm. the hip hop re- references in Luke Cage, they, they threw them shits in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? When he yeah. asked, and when Iron Fist was like, yo, what's your favorite Karnak album? <laughs> <laughs> it was like, oh, I'm about uh, to say 2001. Yeah, I say 2001, but... you know, because that's when I was on the plane. And... <laughs> They made another. They made another album reference earlier. On they made a the couple. Two. They did a couple um, references in there, man. And, mm. and then they even tackled the whole Jamaicans versus Americans thing. Like you know what I'm saying, the elf in the room type shit. Like mm-hmm. when Miranda was like, "Oh, giant contribute nothing." <laughs> 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 and then you know, saying Bushmaster was like, "Yo, you know." Or the, the Jamaicans we rebel, you know. And then sugar can we hide in the trees and come out in the dark. And, you know, I was like, yo, man, big up yourself. And man. then big when up. that nigga took down Biggie and put up Marcus Garvey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh shit, oh uh, shit. Yeah. Oh, not now, which, which, those are all dope pictures. I ain't gonna fucking yeah, lie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ali, Biggie Smalls, mm-hmm. uh, Marcus Garvey, mm-hmm. and then the um, Basquiat. Basquiat. Yeah. Damn, which one should stay up? I think Biggie should Biggie, stay. Yeah, Biggie, Biggie, definitely, should. dude. <laughs> Hands down, Biggie bro. Should stay, yeah, man. When but I yeah, mean, get, no, get. no disrespect to Marcus, but when they brought Biggie back, yeah, I was like, all right, all right. But it yo, feel, it saying, feel, it feel right now. Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Power man, if my boy Tariq ain't dead by the end of the season, man, not go dead. Throw the whole power season away. Not go dead. Screw fist. Yeah, I'm, dead, I'm upset. Yo, <laughs> I'm upset if I'm not dead, yo. Kill off Tariq. No, nah, oh, he can't. Out. You can't. You can't. He can't kill kids two seasons in a row, bro. Nah, I ain't for dead first. Man, right. You're right. You're right. You're right, man. I ain't for that dead first. All right. So, um, how you feel like the the, the first episode jumped? Uh, off? Yo, I, I wasn't mad at it. I I, I, I really mad liked it. I I thought I think I thought this one was um pretty well written. Mm-hmm. And yeah, all them cheesy lines you're talking about, I feel like. Tommy had them in this one. Oh, but yeah. he always got a couple. Yeah, yeah. yeah always every have every, them, every yeah, episode yeah. he got a couple. Yeah, he always have them, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he went to see the Italians, mm-hmm. and you know everything just work out. But like, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got y'all. All right, cool, please. You hold me down. I am out, <laughs> and everything just whole works out some kind of way. But yeah, yeah. I liked it. I liked it. I wasn't mad at even though when 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 he talked about uh, the, the the dude getting killed, the mm. the priest or whatever you want to call yeah, him, yeah, getting yeah, killed. Yeah. When you said uh, the dude said to him, "Oh, you know, that's the only cool guy." White, white guy, guy he's I ever like, met. Uh, I ever met. He's like, <laughs> like me yeah. too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I said, but y'all, the dopest scene of that, you know, what I'm saying, spoiler alert, y'all, go watch it. It's freaking the yeah, the end man at the graveyard. Man. Oh, that's that was a one. That was a one, man. He pulled up on him like, listen, man, I know you ain't strapped. <laughs> yeah, ain't got the strap on you. <laughs> he ain't got the strap right. on. You just came to see your daughter, man. He ain't got, no, he ain't got that strap. <laughs> no front. <laughs> He's like, yo, <laughs> like you ain't even know you reach for it, nigga. You, that like, boy, road team, he cold, I got boy. The, I got to drop on you right now, yeah, man. Son. Yeah, man. Here go your car, man. Hold that, did it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I've seen a couple of cats post, and they say they think that. Um, let, let's let's see if we can off the first episode. Let's see if we can speculate for the yeah. rest of the season, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So uh, one of the cats that I, that I, that I fuck with on my Facebook was just mm-hmm. like, yo. He feel like Rotimi fronting or Dre. Mm-hmm. Y'all know him as Dre. Yeah. He feel like Dre fronting and basically Dre is handing out the cards mm. saying that he got the backing of these dudes like 100% mm. just to keep them off his ass. Mm. That'd be a cold move. Yeah. I, I would rather it end up being like that. Yeah. I think that'd be colder if he did it, but I don't I don't think that's what it is. Okay. I don't think that's what it is. So you think he really got the they, they, he really got the backing? Yeah, I think I think he really got the backing. Okay, I think because he yeah he did link up with them. He did. Link he up, did. Like, yeah, he yeah. did. So I think he do got the backing. However, I don't think um Roti. You know why they gonna do? He ain't gonna last all season. I don't think it's gonna be all season to get to Rotimi. I think it's gonna I, be all season. I think uh, they're gonna. Well, introduce, okay, 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 they, okay. I think they're gonna introduce um a new um connect that, uh connect or plug. You know. What I'm yeah. Saying? 
or new boss. You know, you know, you know. <laughs> the new boss gonna come through. And and I think that what's gonna happen is towards the end of the season, mm-hmm. maybe last episode, episode before last. Mm-hmm. I think they're gonna kill off Dre. I think Dre is gonna die this season. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And I think Lorenz Tate is gonna become the new. Oh, the new, the new okay. Guy. Why because, did he pick his own name for his own character? Did he? Yeah, isn't he Tate? He's still Tate. Oh, that's his name. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's Tate. Yeah. So whatever, what, Tate. Mm-hmm. Um, we all we all know that he's crooked. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And I'm looking at this shit, and I'm just like, yo, he's crooked as fuck, but we just don't know how crooked. Yeah, yet. yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, if I'm not mistaken, I think even the first, not the first, the, the season before this one. Yeah. I think he had he had some kind of connections with a couple of street niggas, mm-hmm. didn't he? Yeah, if, am I wrong? Yeah, am yeah, I, he, did. Wrong? he did, he did, he did, he did. I think it was a couple of connections that he might have had with some street niggas in the in the in the thing. So mm. I think that he got a connection to to the streets, and I think that's gonna manifest throughout this season. Mm. And then he gonna become a boss, and it's gonna become a, a situations between obviously between him and Ghost, and also I feel like Tommy already fucked up majorly in this mm. first episode. Yeah, for y'all that didn't watch it, please go and watch it. He fucked yeah. up majorly already. And that's gonna cause him problems throughout. The yeah, because he season. got them um the two um hitters killed. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's gonna play out crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. But yo, Tasha Mama don't call it call it creeping, man. Yeah. So I'm wondering if Tasha really setting up homeboy. You know what I'm saying? Like, are we gonna see how that plays out? I think he, she's still kind of using them. But you think she is? Yeah, I think she kind of using them. Like, so is 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 she finally gonna? I, is it going to be a situation kind of like how it's been for the last two seasons where mm. she kind of slowly separating from Ghost? And is is this going to continue on for the rest of the season? Yeah. Or are they going to kind of get back together? It's going to be like another situation, maybe a family situation. Yo, maybe that whole, they Raina can't, they can't, they can't, they can't, they can't. That whole, that whole family dynamics is fucked up. They can't. So you uh, think it's a wrap for I Ghost and, and Tasha? I think it's a wrap for Ghost and Tasha. Mm. Yeah, definitely, definitely. You know what I'm saying? I think, yeah. I, I think I, Tasha's you know, I always gonna be around, but I don't think she. I think they're gonna have to give her another love interest, such as this dude. Mm. And they're gonna keep writing her and Ghost's story together, man. I mm. think. I think. I feel like yo, Angela and fucking Ghost is gonna be back at it. Hell no. Yeah. <laughs> yo, yo. If they write that in, that's gonna be the cheesiest shit. Oh, ever. Okay, okay. Right. To me, it's no way possible that that should happen. Unless, unless it's like uh, okay, unless, we, unless, what unless, we do know is it's there's like, got to be sex in power. So who's oh, gonna course. be fucking? That's that's oh Tommy and, and Tommy and Shorty gonna be fucking again. Tommy and Lala. Oh okay, they are gonna be fucking again. Obviously, you think that's what the people want to see though? What shit niggas want to do? Niggas was talking about that shit last time. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Niggas <laughs> like Melo gonna be bad. Yeah, uh, oh, so speaking of that, is Melo on the side? Like nah, nigga, it's not going down this season. Yo, um. Yo, if long, you was mellow, if I was mellow, right, listen, and you watched the last season, she gotta be getting enough money for me not to buy her shit. Mm. Like she has to be like, yo, yo, baby, that new Bentley coupe came out. All right, go get it. <laughs> like it, it gotta be enough money. That's well, on you, boo. <laughs> you, you got that. You got that. <laughs> you know what you did for it. <laughs> you earned it, baby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you got that. That's all you. Yeah. If if I gotta come out of pocket for it, then that scene wasn't worth it. Man. Go ahead and hold that down. <laughs> yeah, hold that down. <laughs> Yo, but you know what? I like like you said. I like the way the season started. Yeah, I think it's I was be a mad. dope season. I was mad. I hope um, they, as long as they continue, because you know, at some some point or another, they they get to rushing. So I hope this f- kind of flow continues. Hope it don't get too slow or get. But remember, I think it's been only ten. Up. It's been only ten episodes. Ten episodes been the most I think for right. This. But even still, whatever. So I, if if this season is thirteen or fourteen episodes, mm-hmm. great job. Yeah, it's the. It's the only show on y'all fucking network. So if yeah. y'all, if yeah, don't fuck it up. I won't be cussing. Oh again. yeah, man, you swear, you, jar. It's the only. It's the only. It's the only show on mm-hmm. y'all network. So don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. Go ahead and you know what I mean. Just yeah. do do the show justice, man. Make it somewhere thirteen or plus episodes mm-hmm. between thirteen and sixteen. I think is it, it'll be dope. All right, man. So while we here doing reviews, man, mm-hmm. let's get to this here scorpion. Scorpion, get over here! <laughs> Scorpion wins. So, did Drake win with this album? Of course he did. And if he did, what did he win? 
um, exactly what he thought he what everybody thought he would have lost. <laughs> so mm. he didn't really gain much. He got just, you. It doesn't it doesn't feel like he lost anything though. Got you. Got you. Got yeah. you. Um, are you digging the Are you digging the project? Um, yeah, I I I, I was digging the project. I felt like audibly listen to the the, the, the audio of it. Mm-hmm. You know, what I'm saying the beats and the the flow is. My man had bars in there, man. I gotta say. Okay. Drake had some bars, so I, I fucked with it. Right. I fucked with it to a certain point, and then you know, so when I got to a certain point, you know, man, that, I, ain't, get, I ain't gonna talk to you about it. But get the, get the swear jar, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, nah, man. Nah, thank you, man. Thank you. Nah, nah. Keep keep me humble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Once I got to a certain point, I was just like, nah, this is not it. I'm not rocking with this no more. But you know, I, I, for the most part, first listen out, I I, I I I enjoyed it. However, I mean, how how do you want to go about this? Like, let's go track for track. I don't even want to go track track for track, and I'm because tell you why. okay, survival. Let's all right. Let me do it like this: survival. Mm-hmm. Once survival came on, I was hoping. I heard rumblings of this may be the song that he really kind of brings everything around in, and kind of like you know what I'm saying, explains why maybe he didn't respond to Pusha T. Because at the end of the day. I think everybody listened to this album <laughs> to see if he responded <laughs> to, to see if he re- what he's gonna say about <laughs> that. That was it. We so, was, so we, I wait. wasn't skipping the song, man. I was like, "Yo, all right, this ain't the one." I'm okay, I was waiting. <laughs> I was like, "It's right. coming." And I thought survival might have been the one. He did a couple, like you know, what I'm saying like I did, slow. I, I did the same shit too. Yeah. So with that being said, though, mm-hmm. Pusha T won the won the battle. Right? Yeah, Drake won the war though. As far as being successful and all that shit, yeah, and but it, I, what I'm saying is, it didn't stain him, did it? He don't smell like an L well, right now, right? Well, didn't didn't we say that? Does he smell like an L though? But no, 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 no. Kinda. You have to smell like an L, bro. The L gotta think. Uh, okay, think about it like this. Think Yo, about Drake. Like oh this. yeah, L. Think about like, it like this. Think about it like this. And, yeah. and, and I'm sorry we bouncing around a little bit, but you know it is what it is. Yeah, Fuck this y'all, is a bootleg y'all y'all podcast. Yo, swear jar. <laughs> forget y'all. Yeah, forget y'all. <laughs> mm. Mother fluckers. <laughs> <laughs> it was sweet Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah. so um, I think I think what it is. Oh damn, I lost my train of thought, man. Um, yeah, man. Wh- okay, go ahead. Drake changed around his album, mm-hmm. and I think it's pretty obvious. Okay, because. Let's let's start with the whole Pusha T response. Yeah, I don't know exactly what I know. A couple of tracks, Survival. Mm-hmm. He responded to him with like a bar or two on that song. Okay, he rebu- a- he rebuttaled him. He didn't. He rebuttal he rebuttal him with the yeah. with the Bernie Mac suit line. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. was my, that song. My, right? my father dresses himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, his yeah. Bernie Mac suits, not yeah. Steve Harvey's. It, was yeah. that a shot at Steve yeah. Harvey? Was he trying to say that Bernie Mac suits is doper than Steve Harvey suits? Oh man. Yeah, 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 yeah. You no, took an no. L for that, L, uh, Drake, man, because Steve, Steve Harvey got yeah. Bezos and Bernie Mac. I'm sorry. All right, I f- yeah, yeah. I mess, I mess with you on <laughs> that. Bezos and Bernie Mac. So, I'm so, sorry. so he responded to him across. I think it was either three or four songs. So you got survival. Mm-hmm. You got eight out of ten, which I think okay. that pretty much the entire song. Your was wife, response. your wife, your wife. And, and now then, and then you that have, was then more you have, so. Then you have the, uh, that was more so Kanye ish. I feel like the the eight out of ten though. You think so? Yeah, yeah, I definitely. It was it. well, well, okay. It was both, but I think it was more Kanye then. All right, I give you yeah, that. Yeah, and then it was another song. Oh, what's the name of it, man? Mm-hmm. Uh, Unforgiven or unforgivable or yeah. Some some what's the you got the track listed in front of you? Tell me what song that is. Um, on, on, on volume one. Volume on one size. on the <laughs> the volume one <laughs> first. Yeah, side side A <laughs> side A. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm upset. God emotionless. Man. emotionless, emotionless, emotionless. So he he took three different songs yeah. to respond to Pusha. So yeah, obviously mm-hmm. these three songs weren't in the original plan, or mm-hmm. it wasn't. He God's changed plan. around some verse. Yeah, no, nah, it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. Okay. <laughs> God altered your plans. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah God, it might have been the yeah. God MC altered your yeah, plans. Yeah, it's talking about it ain't six 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 or seven seven. <laughs> you, you all sevens. <laughs> so I think that I think that in that case mm-hmm. he it, the L was showing because mm-hmm. obviously if there was never a push a T. Mm-hmm. Diss or or rebuttal to be had or whatever. Yeah. 
a lot of those lines that's in emotionless, a lot yeah. of the lines that's in eight out of ten, mm. a lot of the lines that's in uh the lead off track wouldn't be there yeah. if it wasn't for the Pusha T beef. Yeah, true, man. But emotionless, man. Mariah Carey sample. Mm-hmm. What, no ID produced that joint right there? Did he? Yeah. You got you got the credits right there? Yeah, I got the okay. credits right here, man. I was I was hoping that was a 40 joint, but oh my that that co-produced by 40. Yeah, co-produced by 40. Okay. Mm-hmm. Man, that 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 hit. That 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 that's, Did that hit for you? Yeah, man, that hit. Now, I don't I don't like the content maybe didn't hit, but the whole fu- the whole vibe of the song really hit, man. A lot of I think when, the, when this album dropped, yeah. that was the song that everybody was talking about for some yeah, reason. Yeah, off rip because yo know, <laughs> he sold out all he sold out all y'all chicks, yo, for real, for real. He sold y'all all out, for real. He did. <laughs> he sold out all the wow. hurt emotional chicks. Mm-hmm. Like, all the hurt chicks, he sold y'all out. Like, I got a one chick that, you know what I'm saying, take pictures when she across seas, home to post them. Like, yeah, yo, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. He was, he was spending some Yeah, that, that was some all hurt. <laughs> she posting when yeah. she already back in town. She already back at work yeah. working, but she's yeah. still posting pics. Oh, yeah. She, like, she, she out of town. She in a good marriage only until she puts her phones down. Like, is that the same song though? Is, is that, that emotionless? Uh, is that or maybe you say that? It might. It might be yeah, a different yeah. song. Okay. But yeah. But go ahead. Go ahead go but ahead. even still, like yo, I feel like yo, for him to come behind that, right? Mm-hmm. So he do he does this big setup, like boom, 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 boom describing female. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Issues. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Females being vain and all this. Yeah. And then after that, it's like, oh, I wasn't hurting. You know, my kid from the world. I was hurting the world for my kid. Mm. Like, wait, hold on. So you all all them issues right there you described was just some female stuff, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. so then you, you it's like you incorporate yourself in this female behavior, bro. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? That's all you need to po- point out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You ain't point out no, re- no no nothing else. And I'm glad you pointed that out. Yeah. So at the beginning the well, emotionless is pretty much the beginning of the project. Mm-hmm. So if you think about it, the project is what 25 songs long. Yeah. So emotionless yeah. is track 4. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So he says that on emotionless, he wasn't hiding mm. from. It wasn't. Sp- I wasn't hiding the my kid from the world. I was hiding the world from my kid. All right. So then, by the end of the album, or from my kid, though, like, all right, go ahead. So, is it is what which side is March whatever on March fourteenth? Yeah. Um, that was on side A, side B. All right. So, so yeah. that's like the last song on the album, right? Or uh, second to last? Yeah, third? yeah. March fourteenth was like the last song. Yeah. Okay. So on that song now, uh-huh. he basically says that he basically exposed the fact that he he pretty much never seen his son or only seen him one once or twice. Yeah. So which one is it, nigga? Mm-hmm. Are you are you hiding the world from your <laughs> kid? Or Ooh. you know what I'm saying? Like, it, come it, on, you got some explaining to do. Look, yeah, my, <laughs> my dog come, over here, man. Come on, Drake, you are hiding on, the child. <laughs> like, nigga, like you never even met the kid. Yeah, because you talking about buying the nigga clothes. And let me just put this out there: if his middle name is indeed my bed. Drake, I'm done with you. <laughs> you know, I'm, 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 I'm for my bed. I'm sorry. If his middle name is my bed, Drake, mm. I'm done with you. Period. Mm. Not another song. It's getting skipped or turned off. It's not coming on. Mm. I'm walking out the club. I'm not listening to you no more. If your kid's middle name is my bed, mm. <laughs> all right. But I mean, um, I'm ups- yo, I'm upset, man. I feel like I'm I'm upset. Is is a child support song. Mm. I ain't trying to go 50 50 with no hope. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, child. Yo, they put a hundred. What you say? They put a hundred thousand on my head. I'm upset. <laughs> I think that was child support, man. Hey. They try to come at Drake with child hey. support and he upset. He, he said to him and the, him and the baby mama ain't getting along. Yeah, so, yeah. We don't see mean? eye to eye. Yeah. And then when he said it, uh, he, it only take, mama told me it only take one time. Yeah. Uh, for him, it's something. Yeah, which, which? So he only smashed. He only which, smashed twice or something like which that. Which brother said. don't believe it only takes one time? Like, what world are you living in where you don't believe it only takes? All one right, time? so <laughs> Drake delusional Drake. world. So I think my my vibe that I got yeah. from this project, right? And I don't even want to speak on the R and B side because yeah. uh, whatever. Yeah. But my 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 initial response or my initial vibe that I got from the project was 
he was kind of talking about how all the problems that he have, mm-hmm. right? But it was like the way that he the way that he said it was kind of like for me it was From like it, it 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 tried to it tried to make it's trying to make the average fan feel bad for a freaking millionaire successful yeah dude yeah you know what i'm saying i mean that's like yeah. I, my my first initial response was like yo he should have named this album pity party instead of freaking scorpion mm. That was that was my that was my initial yeah, thoughts yeah, because yeah. it was like I felt like every other song was yeah. just like yo, you know, uh, you know, the, this he, they he happened w- and I didn't I wasn't really trying to hide my son I was trying to hide yeah, him from the world. He was doing everything and, that emotionalist was saying. Everything that he described I'm really these the chicks good doing. Guy. Yeah, everything he described them chicks to doing on emotionalist emotionalist emotionless Yeah, was what he did in t- across this entire album. Yeah, that was that was his, that was his vibe. Mm-hmm. To, you know what I'm saying Like yo Oh yeah I wasn't happy. Like what the Yo who uses that line I wasn't hiding my The world My, my kid from the world I was hiding the world From my kid But remember remember, Am I supposed to What uh, what, what do people Take away from that Remember like, Remember when we spoke About this This the, this song right Yeah And, and I, I believe We talked about How he could respond Yeah Owning all that shit right Yeah And and that's basically What he did Didn't he Yeah he did He did You he know did. what I'm saying it, Like Unless he had some super duper dirt, and then he was just like, "Oh, you know how he's the nice guy and this, yeah, that, and yeah, the yeah, third yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Lucky, I'm, I'm, all, I'm committed to this nice guy behavior. Like, really? So, so, but, but it, it, that's like, that's like saying, yo, man, yeah, I wasn't gonna say nothing, man. You're being a bitch ass nigga right now, but I ain't trying to say nothing. You feel me? I really ain't trying to say nothing. You know what I mean? I'll punch you in your motherfucking face, and your mama ugly as fuck. But I ain't trying to say nothing though. You feel me? I ain't trying to go there with you. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'll shoot you in your fucking shit. But I really ain't trying to go there with you, no, bro. That's basically what he did. That's what he did. That's what he did. That's what he did. That's what he did. So, I mean, l- listen, listen. Mm. Y'all, I, I know y'all gonna say it. I'm hating. Yeah, hey. we hating. I'm hating. Hey, and go look at the comments in other videos we have. They are gonna say we Drake stands too. Exactly. So. Exactly. Whatever. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not the Drake biggest fan, right? Yeah, we hip hop fans. Then the, the 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 song. What song is? It? I think it's track number three. What's it? two? Um, to me, nonstop is freaking bumping, bro. Mm-hmm. Like the beat on that joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The 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 played out flow. I don't mm-hmm. know what it is about that song. But I got nonstop on repeat. Nonstop yeah. is my favorite song on this project. Okay, okay. For some reason, right? Okay. Overall, it's a good project, but I think I'm a little tainted because I downloaded this shit. I downloaded shit for free. Okay. <laughs> hey, you know what I, mean? I, I, I don't stream or nothing like that. I downloaded mm-hmm. the project, and basically the way it was downloaded to my phone, mm-hmm. it it <laughs> it's like track one, then one, then track two, then two, then three, then three. So it plays like. It starts off with side B is the first song. Oh, okay. And then side A is 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 the is the second song. Oh, okay. And okay. then the third song. Oh, okay, okay. And then it goes to side B. Oh, and then okay. it plays two and then you know what I'm saying? Mm. So the way that I receive the album is all out of order. Damn. So I'm not the person to sit here and be like, oh da da. But I could listen to it and say, like, yo, overall, it's a good project. Yeah, I, like I resist it. the urge, right? Well, as I'm listening to this, I'm like, oh, we should have Jay Z's on this. Mm-hmm. Like, you wanted to just skip to the yeah, Jay Z track. Skip to the Jay Z track, but I was yeah. like, nah, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, let me get there. Let me yeah, get there. Yeah, you know yeah. What I'm saying, let me feel how, it, how you know, what I'm saying how, how it comes in. Yeah, you know, what I'm saying, and if, what impact it has once it once it drops, man. Definitely. And um, just only to hear Jay Z. You know, what I'm saying, <clears throat> give Florida L, F L, got a F L. All right. So, as as if y'all followers of the podcast, y'all know that I'm not the biggest Jay Z fan, or I haven't been the biggest Jay Z. And fan we live until, in Florida until a certain part, until yeah. a certain album, right? Yeah, I respect Jay Z as being the greatest MC of all time, but not the best MC of all time. Okay, I'm sure y'all know his ways to decipher that. I consider him the greatest, but not the best. Okay, right? So. With this bar, the bar that he said, mm-hmm. um, we we ain't quoting word for word. word for y'all word. ain't here for the facts, here for the fucking opinions. Y'all kill X and let Zimmerman live. 
Streets is done. All right. So before that, what it was top top off. Yeah, I got the top off. What did he what say on it? that one? Oh, oh, on top off, he said, um, Zimmerman uh, come. Yeah, he, he got Georgie Poison. Zimmerman sending me threats. Tell him try that shit with a grown man. I kill that fucker with my own hands. Yeah, you couldn't do so much. You couldn't. You yeah. couldn't kill a flight of steps. Yeah, 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 or something yeah. yeah, like yeah. That. Couldn't, couldn't fly steps. Yeah. I think that Jay Z need to get the f out of here with this line, bro. Mm-hmm. I feel like I feel like for Hove to say this, yeah, it's super it, for him specifically. Yeah. It's super duper controversial for him to say it mm-hmm. because one, he got the Trayvon Martin documentary coming out at the end of this month. Right? What's it called? I don't know the name. But the, okay. the, I don't know the name. But the so the the Paramount BET joint that has nothing to do with him. I think it is. I think oh, okay. that is him. That's him. Okay. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Mean, I, I ain't see the Rock Rock Nation credit on there, but all right, I seen the previews for that. Yeah. That's more of a doc, though. I thought it was going to be like it's a, a movie. It's a six part series. Oh, a series. Okay. Right, kind of like kind of like, gotcha, like gotcha. the, the Khalif Browder situation. Yeah, 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 Same yeah. thing. Okay. But I think for him to say this line, yeah, it's a little bit disrespectful. It's a little bit out of bounds. It's a little bit out of touch. Mm-hmm. And the reason why I'm saying yeah, Walker all Flocka that, folks spoke on it, man. And they try to kill Walker Flocka on that. Not he spoke on he spoke on this bar specifically. Yeah, on that bar specifically. He's like, yo, why is Jay Z trying to entice the youth to do something that he has the power and influence to do? Exactly. That's and, my and same And everybody's online talking about some Walker Flocka missed the line. That's not what Jay Z was saying. Bitch, that's what he was saying. Man. Yeah, he's saying y'all killed X and y'all should have killed Zimmerman. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, X was, uh, whatever. Yeah. Y'all, Zimmerman should be dead instead of X. Basically, right. that's mm-hmm. what he's saying. Yeah. So, my thing is the same thing, nigga. You, you supposedly. You the one he threatened. <laughs> exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You supposedly, uh, this, this street dude, you talked about. Nigga, I think I lost 90 bricks. Mm-hmm. I really did it, but y'all believe this and you, you know what I mean? Whatever, whatever. Nigga, you, right. you, you supposedly got your ear to the street. Yeah. You supposedly close to the streets, whatever. Yeah, yeah. You got enough money to get a a, a, a person whacked. Mm hmm. All right. <laughs> you the mob boss. So, bro. so, so why, why he ain't whacked yet? That, that's what I'm trying to say. All these, all these dudes, y'all, I got shooters. I got this and why so, so okay. Florida we reversing this L. We're throwing it back at Jay Z. Oh hell yeah. He talking to you. Why are you trying? Yeah. Like, he came in here talking. He's talking to you, bro. Exactly. Why you trying to put that on us, man. Exactly. Why are you trying to put that on the young youth out there to go do your biddings, man? Yo, yeah. Yo, how at the youngsters on your own. Yeah, like how at Zimmerman on your own, bro. Do, yeah. Kill you him with your it. bare hands. You, you do it. You do it. <laughs> you got enough money to do it, bro. Yeah. Listen, if it happens right now, I ain't gonna be mad, and I'm gonna give you your credit. I don't, I don't even want to be like, yo, that nigga, oh, yo, but we, be- we believe you the ninety brick story, bro. <laughs> you don't need but, more people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nigga, you're, All right. you're a real one. You're, you're a real, real one, bro. All right. All right. But you do that. Don't put it on us. But I like you. Know what I'm saying, okay, now we, you challenged us, challenged us. We challenge you back, man. Definitely, man. You go ahead and handle that, yeah, man. Ball is in your court, yeah, bro. Man. But at, at the end of the day, no, we, though, we speak for Broward County, bro. Yeah, man. No, let me stop. <laughs> Not for real, we do though. But <laughs> <laughs> all right, but all right. On, on some on some being responsible ish though, like um, is that a responsible statement for him to make? How do you feel about that? Um, being a black man first, like you know, what I'm saying like, do you feel like Zimmerman is the streets being pussy? Should we have took it out of Zimmerman? I think hell yeah. I think hell yeah. If you a street dude. Or just, uh, yeah. And you, you know what I'm saying? I, uh, what what, what, what impl- implications do you feel like this would um cause? What ripple effect do you feel like that would cause? Like, are, are you willing to pay the cost in society if we, us black people, were responsible for the retaliation? When, trade, when you say am, am I willing to pay? I mean, well, I, well, I, 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 I ain't murking them. I, I'm, I'm just that's what I'm saying. <laughs> it may not me yeah, yeah, but, but yeah. yes, though, yes, though, but yes, you are because mm-hmm. I feel like if you are willing to accept that it should happen, then mm-hmm. you are, in a way, like so I'm advocating for advocating it. for it. Yeah. So if we're saying and, and it does happen, uh, what are we willing to accept? You know what I'm saying? The implications or whatever happens. You know what? I think it, uh, to be, let me stand on that then. Yeah. I feel like it sends a message, bro. Mm-hmm. I feel like it sends a message that I think that 
not that the message need to be where it's we're okay with us killing each other. Yeah. Because I get what Jay Z is saying at the yeah. same time in that line, like yo, we you know what I'm saying we shouldn't be killing each other. We should be killing the enemy, so to say. Yeah. Right. Uh-huh. I feel like that would it would bring a certain amount of respect to us as a black community. Mm-hmm. I feel like if dudes put a hit out on Zimmerman mm-hmm. and dudes really get at him and kill him, mm-hmm. I feel like they gonna. I, I feel like they, the white <laughs> folks, yeah, it's gonna be like not yo, all. yeah, not all, but but y'all know who we yeah, talking about. Y'all know who we talking about. Yeah. I feel like they will kind of look at it and say, you know what, man, they starting to get together. Mm. They mean business. Mm. So I think that the same way white folks got behind him mm-hmm. when he killed Trayvon and, you know what I mean, hit him with the, what is it, nigga, the cash app, the, the whatever it was at that time, yeah. and flooded his inbox with some money and said, we support you, mm-hmm. another another uh, street thug off the street and all kind of shit, yeah. this, that, and the third. Yeah. Swear box, my bad. But- when they did that, that showed that their community, not all white folks, but that section of white folks supported him on what they what mm-hmm. he did, and they stood by it like, yo, we rock with you for what you did, bro. Mm-hmm. And we need to do the same. Yeah. Need to do the same. Put a hit out on that nigga. Mm-hmm. Do nah. what y'all got to do. Yeah. Merc him, and we need to stand by whoever the hell did it. Mm. And I, and I stand by that statement, bro. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Ah, right, we don't need to say no more with that. <laughs> <laughs> so I know we kind of I know we kind of transitioned a little bit with the no, Drake no, no, project. No, no, that that, re- that really had to come up. I feel it, it like did, that really did, had to come it did, up, man. It did. It did. So, yeah. So we transitioned a little bit with the with the Drake project, but like I said, overall I think the Drake project was dope. Yeah, dope, not, man. Not, I, I liked it. I liked uh, it. I liked I, it. I, yeah, I I think it was Dope man, I mean, yeah. uh, what's what's my joint man on the R and B t- side? We didn't speak much. Final fantasy, fantasy, uh, final fantasy, um, mm-hmm. was dope. I felt like um, after dark man, I really loved the vibe of that joint right there, man. Mm-hmm. Yo, Ty Dolla Sign is like the new T Pain slash. Yeah, I mess, uh, I mess, I mess with with with, with Ty Dolla Sign. Ty Dolla Sign's on rock, everybody rock, project now. How you feel about the Michael Jackson sample? Yeah, <sighs> they blew it. I feel like they blew it. I feel yeah. like I feel like that song right there just it needed more around it, more mm-hmm. structure, more more voices on it, like to levitate the the impact of it. And yeah. you know what I'm saying? I feel like Drake himself needed to probably you know what I'm saying, gotten deeper on the on the verses that he did, man. Okay. Like that was Michael Jackson, man. You can't really just I half ass that or just put that out there just cause Michael Jackson, man. That was like a big deal. When I saw that on there. Again, that was a song that I you want, just you wanted to skip to. I wanted to skip to, but I didn't. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The fact that I didn't skip to it and I got there, I was kind of disappointed. I was let down on that one. Underwhelmed. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. I like that. Um I feel you. Ratchet Happy Birthday, man. Yo, Drake. Y'all listen to the Drake. Drake sing on Ratchet Happy Birthday. Drake sound just like the glitter troll from Trolls. <laughs> man, it's All I'm glitter troll from the, it's the glitter troll from Control. It's, y'all listen it's, to it's, listen. It's that, that's dad stuff, man. Yeah, y'all yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. That, that joint, that, that movie played a thousand times at my crib, so I know what the glitter troll sound my, like. My, my, my favorite artist, Red Man, say mm-hmm. he say I'm a father, and the blood of a father mm-hmm. rides a lot harder. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? yeah, exactly. <laughs> don't yeah. don't don't get it twisted, man. We watch the trolls too, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah y'all watch it too, man. I be seeing these battle rappers using Pokemon bars. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm like. Damn man, yeah. you know what? Back in the day, I wouldn't have never admitted that I watched Doug. Like, but I yeah. watched it though. <laughs> they be, be wilding out. They, yeah, they, they be going a little extra hard with the SpongeBob bars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And... I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you ain't supposed to admit that you was watching SpongeBob. Yeah, hit you with the eight like Squidward. Like, yeah. like, like, no, <laughs> like, man. like come on, man. Come on, fam. Stop it. Yeah, man. But hell, man, that's enough for Drake, though, man. Yo, all, all in all, man. That boy, he 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 sold like eight. 50, I don't, even, I, I don't like even want to get into the numbers, but they say he broke all kind of records. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stuff like that. I don't. I. I personally, I believe in the old school numbers when people yeah. used to actually go out and buy stuff. So right, right. I feel like all of the screaming, the screaming, the streaming stuff shouldn't necessarily count. Mm-hmm. And when they, everybody was and, streaming I mean, to see what he said about Pusha T. That's all they were streaming yeah, for. Yeah, I, I think. I think that 
when when we doing these numbers, they mm. should always focus on the people that actually went on their phone and said, "All right, I got iTunes. Let me buy the album from iTunes. Yeah, let me buy the album from this source, that source." I, I, yes. Yeah, and we're not this, saying that because if you had a song or album up there, you want to get paid off the stream. True. Too. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it factors in. And but you're and, talking about like you know the credit for. The look of the sales, right? That's what you said. Yes. Yeah, okay. For sales. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you streamed it, don't mean mm-hmm. it sold. I'm talking about the people that actually paid for your album. Yeah. And I think they said it was like at 200 something or something right, like right. that. So yeah. Um, they said it was just off the success of the last album. So obviously, like you said, he ain't really take an L. He's still doing his thing. And you know yeah, what? Yeah. Hey, yeah. the stench of an L ain't on Drake right now. Yeah. I feel. Yeah. 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 So, so all right, man. Salute to you, Drake. You man. got you. You, you accomplished you, what you needed to on yeah, that song. Do your thing. Album. Right. Um, what's what's one of your favorite double uh, get, uh, top three double albums? If you got a, a, a top three, or what's one of the, um, the double albums that you think of uh, out of all your li- years? Uh, Life after hip-hop. death, man, definitely was the dopest double album. Um, okay. Was uh was was was, was P Diddy and the Family a double album? No. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Nah, well, other than that, man, I don't know. No. Um. <clears throat> definitely, I wasn't, really, I wasn't really rocking with Tupac like that back in the day, so I can't. Really, I wasn't either, but mm-hmm. I, I still got to give. I, I'll give All Eyes on Me. It's like a top three double album, definitely. Mm-hmm. Um, Ain't that many double albums though. It's you know it actually it's been a quite a few. Um, I, I kind of looked it up and I was kind of going through and I was just mm-hmm. like uh. Bone Thugs, Art of War, mm. um, Eight Ball, Lost. Uh, Does um, Outcast count? Outcast, Love if Below. Outcast count, then yeah. Speaker Box, that counts. Yeah. Um, UGK, their last album together. Oh, okay. That was a double album. I actually, well, had DJ album. Paul produced um fucking what you call it, yo? Oh, let me see. Let me see if I got this right. Talk up. I think he produced Talk Up on um the Drake joint. Hmm. Yeah, man. So uh, you know what? I, I need to. I yeah, need DJ to keep... Paul pronounce that man. DJ Paul and the... yo, yeah, for real, yeah. Man. Trey Six I, Mafia, man. Trey Six Mafia. Yeah, that be yeah. it, man. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, so <clears throat> I, one of my favorite double albums is definitely, I guess, Life After Death and 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 All Eyes on Me is kind of default. So mm. I don't even want to list those two. Wu Tang Forever. Mm, Wu Tang Forever. True, true. Yeah. Wu Tang Forever is up there, yeah. but in most recent times, dude, I think that this last Big Crit album is like one of my favorite double albums okay, to come okay, out okay, in a okay. long time. Yeah, yeah, you know true. what I'm saying? Like, I think the, I think the way that he played it, where he had like the ratchet side, and mm-hmm. then he had the more what he what he what he said uh, the Big Crit side, which is mm-hmm. a little bit more ratchet, a little bit more club, a little bit you know yeah. mainstream hood type shit, and then. Uh, he had his real name for the second side of the album, and it was a little more what, introspective. Didn't Dipset drop a double album? Yeah, Diplomatic Community. Oh, Dip- yeah, Diplomatic yeah, Community. Yeah, yeah, Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Um, double albums, dude. Mm-hmm. I'm rocking. I'm rocking. Mm-hmm. I'm rocking Eight Ball Lost. Yeah. I know a lot of people said that they didn't really rock with that. Mm-hmm. I'm rocking this Big Crit album. Um, and I want to say maybe Wu Tang Forever, dude. That's yeah. probably like my top three. Just off the top right now, thinking about it, uh, double albums of all time that I could think of. Yeah. And like I said, we already know that Life After Death and uh, All Eyes On Me is like already in there. And then if y'all want to put in Are You Still Down, Tupac fans out there, because mm-hmm. that was a double album too. Um, it, it's, it's a couple. It's a couple out there, man. Um, mm, true, true. But yeah, yeah. That's the ones uh, I rock with. Hip Hop Purist. What is a Hip Hop Purist? Okay, so uh, and the reason why I asked that question yeah. is because we we got a couple we got a we we get a little bit of hate and I, we 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 embrace the hate yeah yeah that's yeah. fine yeah it was a time where we wasn't getting no haters yeah so <laughs> what what yeah, what man. dude what dude said on uh yeah, what it was College man. Hill yeah dude said uh, I love my haters they make me seem greater yeah. So, that's real shit. So so I so I embrace. That's how I feel when I see the stuff. Like some of the stuff they accuse me of, I'm like, oh shit, I'm that dope. Like, yeah, <laughs> I'm on that level. I wasn't that, even thinking about uh, that. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So, these accusations, man. So somebody right. commented. Now I want to write the exact comment out here because mm. I don't want to give you props like that. But yeah. dude was was hate, hating hard. Yeah. And basically, the context of the comment was kind of like, yo, I'm a hip hop purist. Yeah. And basically what y'all saying is some BS. Okay. So I And f- what I say is yeah. is is 
in the semen. It's concrete. So bro. A, a hip hop purist to me is somebody that um, feels like they use as a shield to say that w- how I say is how it goes. I'm right. Mm. You have nothing to come back at me with because I'm a hip hop purist. Like I study this shit. So when we talk, like I'm so involved. I'm, so, I am the gatekeeper as to what is and isn't dope. <laughs> or what is or was it what isn't hip hop? Yeah. But so yeah. so uh, when we say hip hop, all right, yeah. we talking about like some five elements type type mm-hmm. situation. We talking about beat be, break dancing, b yeah. boy and which, MC and which is fell to DJ the wayside and... a long time ago. <laughs> hip hop got that... shot when Nas said so. <laughs> Hip hop yeah. been dead for a minute. Uh, Hip hop been dead for a minute, but bro, I'm so, sorry to tell you. All right, so if you if Mr. you Mr. Purist, if you go through Atlanta, right? Yeah, and and I'm just using Atlanta because yeah. Atlanta is quote unquote on top right now. Yeah. So if you go through Atlanta, you talk to a lot of these trap rappers, and you be like, Yo, man, yo, 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 oh, fam, I don't fuck with no hip hop. What's what's the, what's the what's the five elements of hip hop? <laughs> tell me off top, what's the five elements of hip hop? Mm. What you think they're gonna be able to be like, yo? Yeah. MC and yeah. breaking DJ and graffiti graffiti <laughs> culture like yeah. you, you think they gonna be able to tell me that nah <laughs> you're not you're not getting none of those responses but at the same time and I feel like it was a hip hop purist that said that's what hip hop is <laughs> <laughs> so so at the same time is yeah. is 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 m is rapping not MCing or what's the difference between What's the difference between writing down rhymes mm-hmm. and emceeing? Oh, pa, 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 you know, pa, 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 MC pa, 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 pa. means move the crowd. Mm-hmm. But what's like? What's the difference between yo? I I write. I wrote my rhymes. So, I'm speaking my truth. Uh-huh. I'm speaking my truth. What's the difference between that and emceeing? It, Rapping it, and emceeing. What's the difference? I feel like yo, okay, uh, yo, uh, MC has to be um somebody that yo, just like how you would. Use an MC at any in any auditorium, like an MC, whether it's rapping or not, they are there to control the crowd, crowd to dictate how the night's going, mm-hmm. and they they're there to set the tempo, set the pace. Mm-hmm. That's what an MC is to me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If I'm thinking about hip hop, like somebody that's just there to move the crowd, like even with the DJs up there, you know what I'm saying, mixing their songs or whatever. The MC is still like a hype man, somebody that's there to like get the shit going. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you know what I'm saying, like a, a rapper, like a rapper, is somebody that you know what I'm saying scribbles on the pages, like somebody that you know what I'm saying, like I I orchestrated this specifically for this. Like mm-hmm. this is what I'm doing. Like I'm rapping. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like there's a lot more MCs in a sense out right now than mm-hmm. there is actual rappers to me. To speak, I guess to speak on the side of the hip hop purists, mm-hmm. I guess my explanation of that would be mm-hmm. a, a rapper is gonna rap over his song, mm-hmm. and an MC is gonna perform his song. Okay, yeah, yeah, Just yeah. To, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, to, yeah. To simplify that shit. Yeah. But who who is to say that the hip hop purist is always right, mm-hmm. or who is to say that the hip hop purist? The, the, is, is the best for the culture. Whoever or uses that pushing the culture forward, or whatever. whoever uses that word to describe themselves, I feel like like that they're, they're trying to disarm whoever they talk to. Yeah, it's like yo, listen, you ain't you don't I know, said you don't it, know what you talking it's about. law. Mm. It's law. It's it's written. It's written in the hip hop bible. It's law. I know. It's law. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you know I'm saying nobody else. Can, you cannot contest this. This is it. <laughs> These are the rules. <laughs> Ain't no comeback, buddy. Ain't no comeback, bro. Mm. Yeah, you know I'm saying so. Hey, whatever though. Well, like it's like I said, man. I, I feel like that person that made that comment, and and y'all, yeah, hey, man, y'all go search through the comments. I don't fuck with no hip hop. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the person that made that comment, man, used it to try to discredit what we were saying. Mm-hmm. And yo, dude, I can't count how many times since we done quote unquote got popular. Yeah, my our hip hop card then got pulled. Yeah, it got pulled a lot, right? Yeah, <laughs> hey. Casta took our hip hop card a couple of times, hey, man, bro. Listen, man, y'all ain't no hip hop heads. Y'all ain't, y'all hey, just y'all like they about. took it, a lot more people gave it back to us. So yeah, definitely, man. So, so I mean, hey, man, shout, you know shout out, sweet Christmas to all y'all haters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and shout out, shout out to all my hip, yeah. my hip hop purists out yeah. there that you know what I'm saying feel like everything they say is law. 
Yeah. You know, but yeah. Yeah, man. If he's, if he's yeah, I, I really can't. St- I don't. I don't study hip hop. Like I feel it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. I'm it's not, in you. It's in me. You know what I'm saying? I grew yeah. up on it, and what I, I vibe to, I vibe to. I'm not like I, yo. I know Jay Dilla is an ill producer, but I can't tell you why personally. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, but it's in me though. I I know hip hop, bro. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. I got you. All right, so some real world stuff been going on, man. And um, I was I was I was looking for some topics, man. It's kind of kind of slow week. Yeah, like some real real uh, you know, live stuff to talk about. Uh, yeah, but this was this one right here, rough, man. You just read the headline, man. Outrage at photos of American woman posing with giraffe she shot dead in South Africa. A rare black. So let me just read the article real quick, or what? 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 The the half or whatever the article. It says uh, images of images of a, an American hunter posing with the body of a black giraffe she killed in South Africa have triggered an online backlash after going viral on social media. Thousands of Twitter users expressed outrage as Tess Thompson Tally mm-hmm. Triple T, thirty seven years old, for killing the giraffe on a hunting trip last summer. Mm. Quote. Prayers for my once in a lifetime dream hunt came true today. Mm. Spotted this rare black giraffe bull and stalked him for quite a while. Stalked. Tally wrote in a since deleted Facebook post. Mm. The post said the animal was more than 18 years old, weighed 4,000 pounds, and yielded 2,000 pounds of meat. On average, giraffes have a 25 year old lifespan. And yo. So she posted a picture. She got the rifle in the hand. Mm. She got the left hand pointed up to God, like yo. That's the, that's the right hand pointed up. Right, right. hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man. Thank you. Yeah, it's like this glass. Thank you for this feast. Yeah, right here. Thank you for this giraffe right here that I killed. This She's not after. eating that giraffe though, bro. Is is giraffe meat something? Like, like uh, I, I ain't never heard of that being on the market. <laughs> you, know I mean? you think they just? You think you think that either she or they put that fact out. To kind of um, mm. level it off, meaning what? Like to soften it up a little bit. Which fact are we talking about? The fact that the giraffe weighs more than four thousand pounds, oh, but it yields two thousand pounds of pretty much edible meat because you know you can't eat yeah. hooves and yeah. you know antlers or man, whatever. Ain't nobody eat. Yo, have, listen, man. I tell you like, right now, a giraffe is never looking delicious to me. Never. I've never looked at a giraffe like, yo. <laughs> Exactly, <laughs> that nigga looked delicious. So who did this swear jar? Who who did yeah. this giraffe feed? Feed? I, I, you can't take the meat back to America with you. You can't take it back to the states with you. I don't think so. I don't think so. So who did it feed? Like I've never heard of people poaching for giraffes to go eat, man. Yo, like the things that's going on in these times, man. Mm-hmm. We need a new "We Are the World" song, man. Mm. 2018, man. We are the world, man. What? We are the world came out in 1985, man. <laughs> we need it. We need it. Did they do a remix not too long ago? That shit was kind of bad, though. Who? who? The White Clef with yeah. uh, 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 what's his name? Will I am? Yeah. 2018. It was, was kind of bad, oh, yeah. bro. 2018, bro. <laughs> who needs to be on? Be on? Uh, we are the world. Ty Dollar Sign. <laughs> <laughs> Dollar sign. Yeah, 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 I was gonna say that. He gotta come in <laughs> on the song. Dollar sign. <laughs> yeah. M- must have needed to produce the beat. <laughs> yeah, must have done the beat. Oh, snap. Rihanna need to be on there. <laughs> right? Beyonce. Beyonce. Chris yeah, Brown man. need to be on We All the World. Yeah, man. Ella May. J- Ella May. J- J. Cole need to be on there. Yeah, man. Ain't nobody gets to rap, though. Like, nah. ain't no rapping. Nah, like, everybody no rapping. gotta sing. J. Cole gotta sing. <laughs> <laughs> Kendrick gotta sing. Like, hey, Kid Cudi need to be on there. Yeah, Kid Cudi mm-hmm. need to be on there. Mm-hmm. No, it need to be produced by Kanye West. That's who need to produce We Are the World 2018. Seven, seven different songs would be on there. <laughs> seven different remixes. <laughs> we got seven you, artists. Is, is, is. <laughs> yo, yo, come on, man! Like we need, we need, yo, the world, yo. My brother posted something the other day, man. I I couldn't agree more, man. Mm-hmm. The world doesn't need more billionaires and millionaires, man. The the world needs more healers, lovers. 
You know what I'm saying? And people of that nature, man. Definitely, definitely. It's like, yo, come on, man. Like, yo, this this is this is horrible. And I but yeah, I hate okay. to feel that way because if a pit bull dies down the road, like I'm do I really feel that way? Like, oh, exactly. So but, so and, and, and I was I was gonna bring that up. So um it, I think it was uh Michael Shea. Yeah. That said it. He was talking about the gorilla the, uh, the rhinos or some shit yeah, like that. Yeah. So one of them had had had, had went is in went extinct recently. Yeah. And he was just like, yo, man. No, no, no. He's talking about gorillas. He was like, yo, if 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 all all of a all of a sudden it was like a, a, a gorilla rapture. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden it was a giraffe rapture. Mm-hmm. And all the rap all the giraffes just disappeared off the planet. Yeah. Would you notice? No, nah, but at the same token, man, like so, so, I don't I don't want to take away I, I understand your point. So like he was saying, mm-hmm. why do we give a damn? I give a damn because that the fact that this this giraffe represent the black man. Got you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. And to where this giraffe was this mining this giraffe business. Got you. This giraffe is not a predator. Hey, you got to look at how Jamie Foxx was yeah. talking about how giraffes spread one day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> giraffes <laughs> eat. They, run. they eat leaves off the tallest branches, yeah. man. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. They're yeah. not out here. Harming nobody. Mm-hmm. Like you pull up on a giraffe, it probably won't run it. Be like, yo, what up? Yeah, you chilling. Yeah, we good. He'd flap right. his ears at yeah, you. Yeah, flap his ears. He'd like probably yo, flirt with you a little. Come bit. down, and hit you, hit you, lick you with that big ass tongue, and mm-hmm. then keep it moving. And you pull out a fuck. You know, you pull out a rifle and bang. <laughs> Here go a banana. Yeah, you pull out a rifle, bang. Okay, stalked. yeah. Stalked. I stalk this giraffe. Like, come on, man. Mm. Like you just victimize this giraffe, and that's you. That's how y'all do the black man. Gotcha. And, and and that's why I don't like that, man. I like, mean, when when I think about this, I think about how back in the days people used to get food, right? Mm-hmm. So they 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 specifically in the article talked about how it yielded two thousand pounds of meat, right? Yeah. And I'm looking at it, and I say to myself, "There's no need for hunting." Something that got two thousand pounds of meat. Yeah, it's yeah. no need for hunting these <laughs> You're days. Be eating like fucking. If you if you in an industrialized country like America. Sorry, even though she went to freaking South Africa to go hunt, yeah. so obviously she got she got money yeah. because it takes money to go down to mm. a different continent mm-hmm. and 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 go just hey yeah, let's yeah. go on a giraffe hunt yeah. expedition like you like you, you yeah. went there specifically to shoot and kill giraffe yeah you know what I mean mm-hmm. and then when I look at that I say to myself what. Like why in South Africa Do they allow this Why do they allow mm. people to come from different countries To come here and hunt y'all animals Like yeah. we look at y'all animals As majestic as you know oh my gosh A mm. giraffe in the wild and a lion And a this mm. and a that and y'all just Let people with money come and pay like you know What I'm saying y'all yeah, yeah, yeah. is paying y'all off To kill off y'all beautiful animals and shit yeah, You know what I'm saying yeah, yeah. let them live on a Sanctuary and do whatever it is that they do In the wild mm. and you know what I mean nobody shouldn't be Messing with yeah, them man so, Hope line, so, man. Y'all need to, yeah, yeah, y- You know what I'm saying Y'all need to let um Take out this lady like Zimmerman he she's that giraffe is up. That giraffe killer is up there with yeah. George Zimmerman. Yeah, man. triple triple T. You don't, you don't get no love for that. Triple T, man. Somebody off your bitch ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so moving on. Um, China has a real life laser gun that they said that they're ready to put in production, man. Yo, a gun with mm. lasers on it, bro. But it's a. Laser gun. Say, 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 don't say, got bullets. Do, do the do the the, the Doctor Evil George. <laughs> laser. <laughs> it's a freaking gun with fucking lasers, son. <laughs> and yo, so, so it don't make no noises though. It, it don't. It don't. It don't. It's silent. Know, silent. Colorless. <laughs> Invisible. So, so the article says, as the U.S. prepares for war in space. Mm-hmm. China is bringing the space war home. <laughs> so, you know, we got that space yeah. force popping off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. So, let me see the picture of the gun, though. Okay. So, I got a picture of the gun. Why is it always got to look so basic? Like, <laughs> that look like the beta version of the gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Um, well, this this not showing the full version of it, yeah. but I think the other version that I saw is like, <laughs> that big like, a big, like a big old light bulb. Look at the big front. ass scope on top of that. <laughs> How do you even look through that? <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, how do you even look through that? Yo. Yo, another, day wilding. Another picture I saw, it had, yeah. it had yeah. a big old light bulb on yeah. the front. I was like, yo, y'all like it. <laughs> yo. Killing, you killing cats with light bulbs, guys? Oh, man, you're getting vaporized. <laughs> so, so China's ZK. You remember, them, you remember the guns back in the day, some laser guns that you had the toys, but you hit it and like, yeah, they like charge it up. Yeah. <laughs> The more it spun, the more lights came on. I you know feel what, like that's what this is. You know what, I think you know. And when I when I saw this article, right, I was like, yo, I said, how does this? I know they say it don't make no sound, but mm. if it could make a sound, right? Mm. I said to myself, mm. you know, what this laser gun will sound like. Mm. It sound like hollaback yugging. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was like. <laughs> you know how the new T two way alert goes. <laughs> beep 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 beep. <laughs> <laughs> whoop whoop. All about young. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's called a ZKZM 500 laser assault rifle is reportedly capable of hitting a target from a kilometer away. For y'all that don't know math, man, that's like a little bit less than a mile. Mm-hmm. Igniting flammable objects and burning through human skin. Mm-hmm. And it's ready for production, the researchers behind this project claim. A weapon that fires a destructive laser beam has been a dream of the military research for decades. The U.S. military has recently had some luck with huge laser firing cannons mm. that are intended to be mounted on top of ships and all kinds of crazy shit. But now they say basically China has the capability of producing a handheld version of this shit, bro. Damn, that shit real. Yeah. Like how you feel about that, they man? They say like- it, weigh, it weigh about the same of an AK-47 and they got the range of 800 meters or a half a mile and could be mounted on cars, boats, and planes, bro. Yo, imagine somebody do a job by him with him, bro. <laughs> like you just there, your back turned. <laughs> you just getting like, burnt up. Like, oh! <laughs> ah! 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 I'm <laughs> Yo, yo, hell. They yo, say, hey, they say y'all, all y'all rappers out there, they y'all say, not real until y'all pose with this this laser gun. <laughs> right? Yo, like how y'all used to yeah. pose with the Draco yeah, yeah, when yeah. the Draco came out? Yeah, yeah, ain't y'all nobody. Need to get your hands on one of these, man. get your hands on one of these, man. Don't let Kim Jong Yi yo, you mm, on, mm, pose mm. with this before y'all, man. Yeah, this man. is like the new Maybach. Truck man, like this is like, <laughs> yo, pose with this joint right here, man. Yeah, it's the Ferrari. I want to see two chains holding one of these joints right here. <laughs> Most expensive shit ever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> two chains. Two chains. We need to get you because fifteen thousand dollars a piece. Mm-hmm. Says it sounds relatively inexpensive. <laughs> two chains. You could two. afford fifteen thousand yeah. dollars for a for a, a, a high laser. tech weapon like yeah, this. Yeah, man. Bro. You need to demonstrate this. Two laser. Chain. Laser. Freaking lasers, lasers. lasers, bro. Yeah, man. Two chains. You need to de- demonstrate this gun before anybody else does. Yeah, man. man definitely. Fifteen man. stacks for that? Dang, man, man, man. Listen, man. You yeah. can afford that two chains. How yeah, man. Mm. So I mean, yo, this is crazy, man. Like we we, we getting into the Star Wars age, bro. Yo, man, <laughs> <laughs> weapons is going to be really sound like pew 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 pew. For real, for real, for real. I seen somebody pew, posted. Pew, that, I'm gonna steal your comment. Somebody commented on one of our joints, man. I'm gonna steal your comment, man. Yo, I'm ready for the, see the Power Ranger suits, man. I'm ready. Mm. Let's go, man. Let's go. So they're gonna have to come up with suits to combat these shits, mm-hmm. bro. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Yo, said, if it's silent, a space troop. Oh yeah, man. If it's silent, I, ref- I assume I, I got assume, a reflective suit. Right back <laughs> off of me. <laughs> Hit you, man. <laughs> What's the saying? Was like, whatever bounce on me, <laughs> words don't hurt me, but whatever do bounce off me and stick to you, you like, like glue, glue, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah stick, man. You gonna get these shots, man. That's what does that joint come up? With? I wonder if they use a USB dot. Like how they charge it. <laughs> 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 you gotta plug that shit in. Yeah. Like, yo, man, hold yeah, on. Man, <laughs> let's put this. Let's yeah. put this war on hold for a sec. We gotta charge up. For real, for real. <laughs> they for gonna real. have charge times yeah. listed in in, in, in war. Niggas, niggas <laughs> doing drive bys and Teslas and shit. <laughs> <laughs> You ain't silent, silent a, ass drive by. You ain't hit a car. You ain't hit a car. Sure, his tires moving. Leaves, <laughs> leaves shuffling on the I ground. I can't wait to hear the bars about this, man. <laughs> <laughs> Teslas and silent laser guns. <laughs> they gonna hire Denzel. Yeah. Space Force ain't got shit on, on me. me. <laughs> 
Oh man, that's crazy, bro. Ever, ever, ever. All right, so um, the Trump administration rolls back racial diversity guidelines for colleges. Mm-hmm. And I thought this was an interesting topic, man, because um, it's a serious one. But um, well, I, I don't know. I can't really make too many jokes about this shit. But this shit is real, man. Mm-hmm. And it's and it's just and it's just to kind of show exactly what kind of administration is in office right now. Yeah. So um, on Tuesday they rescinded an extensive set of guidelines put in place under President Obama that had called on colleges and universities to consider race as a way of promoting diversity, right? Yeah. U.S. Uh, Attorney Jeff Sessions, the racist dude, you know, we, we spoke about him in the past, go back yeah. and find an episode, um, said that the 24 documents, many of which gave advice to schools on how to deal with Supreme Court decisions on race admissions, were unnecessary, quote, were unnecessary, outdated, inconsistent with existing law, or otherwise improper. Mm-hmm. Let me repeat that one more time. U.S. Attorney Jeff Sessions said that the 24 documents, many of which gave advice to schools on how to deal with the Supreme Court decisions on race admissions, were, quote, unnecessary, outdated, and inconsistent with existing law or otherwise improper. Mm-hmm. So basically what it is is that um, there was the, it's a specific law that was put into place um, it's in this article, but I can't really. Uh, I'll look for it in a second. I'll tell y'all exactly what it is in a second. But the law basically, um, <clears throat> mm-hmm. it gave guidelines to universities on how they should admit their students, right? Mm-hmm. So basically, how it was. should not be admitting their students. No, no, no. The laws. It should. Gave, yeah, it gave the universities advice on how they should admit their students. Mm-hmm. And basically, what it is, is that it just made it inclusive. So, in a general sense, the law just basically said, yo, consider minorities outside of white folks. Well, obviously, that's what minorities are. Yeah. Consider minorities when you in, during your admission process. Mm-hmm. And it gave them a specific guideline on how to do it to where you don't get to a campus and it's just strictly a whole bunch of white people. Yeah, You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. So, I often wonder, man. Mm-hmm. Do white people not really want black people around? <clears throat> to be honest with you, I feel like, or people of color. Let me say, people of color. People of color. I feel like white folks in America, mm-hmm. and when I say America, I'm always talking about America. M U R I C A. Them, the, the middle America folks that don't really get out too much, mm-hmm. that don't really intermingle, and you know. Mm-hmm. Those folks that stuck in the, in the old country ways. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? Uh, what was the name of that movie again? Mm. No Country for Old Men or whatever. Yeah. But they stuck in their ways. I think that they have in their mind a specific way that America is supposed to be. Yeah. Right? Okay. And they are afraid mm-hmm. largely by a lot of the rhetoric that's coming from the, the, the Trump campaign. A lot of the rhetoric that's coming from these uh, white nationalist groups, uh, these hate groups and stuff like that. They spew all of these lies and they make it, they they, they they say, oh, you know, the minorities and the Spanish and the black folks and all these people, they're here to change our country. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And these people are scared shitless because it was a, it was a statistic that went out or a, a, a report that went out that said uh, the white people white people in this country is going to become the minority by 2045, right? Yeah. And that was a couple years. They 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 updated that and made it a little bit earlier. I think they said <laughs> it was like by 2050 or something like that before. So they were saying that white folks is going to be the the, the minority. In, within, our, within our lifetime? Within our lifetime. No, white folks are going to... 2025. Yeah, right? So 2045. White folks is going to be the minority in this country. And the reason why is they're waiting longer to have kids. Mm-hmm. They have they white folks are having inf- infertility issues. Mm-hmm. Um, they have the highest number of old people mm-hmm. in the society. So they're dying off quicker, mm-hmm. but they're not reproducing like mm-hmm. Hispanics <laughs> being number one. Blacks Mm -hmm. being number two and then Asians being number three. And then they got everybody else Mm -hmm. afterwards. So 
these folks in middle why, America. Why don't they want to reproduce though? I, you know what? You know what it is. I think a lot of them are really, really career driven. Uh huh. Um, if if you think about it, again, they, man, they, so they they're driven by success. Success and what is success? That's what I'm trying to say, man. And we, you know, what I'm saying what we is, talked about that before. Yeah. What is success? What is success, man? Oh, my dad. My dad was a doctor. Yeah. My dad was a lawyer. Mm-hmm. My dad was a businessman. Mm-hmm. And that's, you know, that's the ugly lie that that Americans feel. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Even I got. Some, some, I got. I got to wait until I'm married to have kids. Yeah. And even yeah, man. Even I mean, if, you know even what, if, man? Even, as if, of, even if it's someone fifty, bro. Yeah. I'm not gonna have kids until you know what I mean. I feel like I can f- provide and you know. You, you know, gotta wait for the perfect I, fucking for circumstance. Circumstance. Swear, job. My bad. Man. And I've traveled the world. Yeah. And I can enlighten them on what you know. You know this that. And, and that's where them infertility issues come. Mm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> while while us like we, yeah. we we getting it in when we yeah, 21, man. Shit, man. 20, 18, 19. Yeah, man. You know this what I'm saying? Dick, this dick don't work. Swear jar, you know what I'm saying? After a certain age, man, we gotta get yeah, it in, man. Get it in, like these nozzles. Oh, yeah, right? yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I need, right, I need to have ign- me a mini me ASAP, bro. Let's, let's not be ignorant about it, but at the yeah. same time, it's like, yo, um, with this law right here, or you know, what I'm saying him reversing all this jazz right here, man. Yeah. Like, and y'all ain't here for the facts. Y'all here for y'all the here for the opinions. That's man. the gist of it. That's I ain't gonna go yeah. through. Yeah, right, right. And I, I think there are, you know, what I'm saying. It, Invoking with the new Supreme Court, they voting for the new um, judge or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah you know yeah. what I'm saying? One they of going, the dudes was going through a lot of the females. Yeah, go ahead. Let's hold that thought, but let's finish the thought on this one. Go okay, ahead. okay, go okay. Ahead. But yeah, man. I mean, like, if 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 it really is how Trump phrases it, mm-hmm. it'd be awesome. If it was to the the aspect of, yeah, let's not consider race. Mm-hmm. Let's just. As long as this person qualifies as far as um, grades go, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, and as as long as they meet the the the, the markers that are required requirements, mm-hmm. regardless of what their name is, you know what I'm saying. Let's not ask what their race is. Let's just bring them in. That'd be dope. But we, you know what I'm saying, like like you explained to me earlier, that's not what it is. Mm-hmm. It's more so now they get to really actually. Dissect and you know what I'm saying discriminate uh, discriminate against people and say look man we don't want this person here X Y Z Z Z and they they could blame it on the Every, president they, well they could blame it well not not necessarily the president but they could blame it on anything that they want to yeah. mm-hmm. in their mind the, the mm-hmm. university could say to themselves yeah and this is I, I mean a lot of people. When you say stuff like this, they make it seem like it's not in the realm of possibility, right? Yeah. So these people that's running the universities, mm-hmm. hey, my my son went to Harvard. Yeah. My grandson is gonna go to Harvard. My dad went to Harvard. My such and such, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And it, and it's and it's all historically white men, yeah. right? So they get into positions of power at these universities. And they believe a certain thing. They believe that the white man is smarter than the black man, or right. whatever, whatever. So this basically just enables them to put their racist practices in mm. position and label it something else. Yeah. So they could just be like, "Hey, we didn't even look at uh, the race of the the, the the applicant or whatever. We just looked at the grades, and this person's grades was better than this person's grades, and whatever, whatever. They could basically say whatever the hell it is that they want." Mm-hmm. And it's nothing that you could do about it because there's no uh, affirm quote un- affirmative action in place. Where affirmative action before, I think it was. It, quote me if I'm wrong, but I think it, it said something about a, sp- a specific percentage or something like that. Where it was like, okay, you as a university or you as an employer have to employ this amount of people mm. or whatever. So it kind of set a quota for hey. You need this All amount right. of inclusion, Look, blah, 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 what? blah. This is basically erasing that shit. Yeah. Y'all do, as a university, do what you want to do. That's true. I, I mean, I could get serious with this, but forget it. I'm going to get ignorant. I, got, Go I, ahead. I don't got to be all that serious, man. We don't. Like, if we separated, mm-hmm. who would have more fun? People of color or white people being by themselves? POCs. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the POCs will be lit, bro. Yeah, man. If we move back to Africa or wherever the heck they want to send us, yeah, man, 
We gonna have more fun than they do. They gonna have over here, and they gonna try to come where we at to try to take that. Shit <laughs> yeah, over. that's what they gonna do. <laughs> Wherever we at, they gonna try to come through. But like, hold on, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> yeah, 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 man. I mean, I don't know, man. It, it's it, like I said, man. Y'all look it up, man. Trump admit wants to uh, end legal this is, form of verdict. But this is how they try to sneak it in there, man. So yeah, be aware, man. Definitely. It's and and, and, and that's why. That's yeah. why we bring stuff up like this. I mean, yeah. we're not trying to bore you all to death with the politics and the, yeah. the, 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 the super duper details and what's going on. Yeah. We but just there's, here there's to let y'all know that, hey, this is what's going on. Be aware of it. Do your research. Do mm. whatever we need to do as a community to combat, to combat it. it. That's yeah. it, man. It is, yeah. it is what it is. Uh, what you were saying about the, the Supreme Court Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? So they, they're, they're, the dude resigned, right? Yeah, and they're looking into different candidates. Mm-hmm. And most of them have been women who are, you know, saying are against abortion and things like that, mm-hmm. and da da da. And Trump swears that's not going to be a question that he asked during the interview process. Mm. But mm. my thing with that is, how much do you? Because th- they they said that this is like the first time. Mm. Don't quote me. First time in a while mm-hmm. that a Supreme Court justice has resigned. Mm-hmm. No health issues. No nothing. Just and that's the only way you get to be out, pretty much. Mm-hmm. So he's not unfit or anything. Yeah. He just decided to resign. Mm. Who paid? Him? Coursed. Who who paid? Coursed. him? Coursed. Who paid him? Mm-hmm. And 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 if it was if it was you, mm-hmm. what's the number, dude? You a Supreme Court justice? Uh huh. It's 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 this amount of conservative justices and this amount of liberal justices, right? Yeah. We have the president now who's conservative for now. <laughs> so he says mm-hmm. he's conservative and he wants the Supreme Court to be more conservative than mm-hmm. it is liberal. Okay. Let's just say it's tied. How many? It's supposed to be what? Seven justices? Yeah. Am, am I correct with that? Is it seven? You ain't here for the facts. All right. So <laughs> it's supposed to be a certain amount of justices. Yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, it can be equal. So I think right. it's seven. Right. right? Mm-hmm. So how much money does it take, killer, mm. to be like, yo, I, I'm going to resign? Yeah. Uh, how much I'm money? I, I, my I kids. I give it up. My kid, kids would have to be good. Mm. Mm, I got you. Yeah, I would say it would for me it would have to be upwards of like sixty million dollars. I don't think that's enough, bro. I think that's enough for mm. for me to make moves for my kids' kids to be good. I don't know. Not in the world they trying to create. Mm. I got I got to hear your plan too. Like you got it. All right, what do you, what do you plan to do if I step down? Like what's 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 your overall goal? What's what's the you know what's the end game? Got you. Gotcha. I gotta hear it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I rock with that. I rock with that, man. Um, last Trump, Trump, Trump news. Uh, boy, hashtag boycott Walmart. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yo, a, shout out to them, man. Is a, don't shout, don't shout them out yet. Don't yeah. shout them out yet. But they, in a way, because I know they did a couple. Yeah, of, they, yeah, they, they, they made other racist trips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, yeah, but shout out to Walmart, man. Okay. I, I might not steal something in your line today. <laughs> I'll wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll wait until yeah. next week. Until next week, yeah. everything in the self checkout line will make it in you the can't, bag. You can't. You can't afford this. Just yeah, go to the self checkout line. Yeah, yeah. We everything in the self checkout line will make it in the bag this week for yeah. for, for, for what y'all doing right now. Definitely. Now it, they got to take it a step further and put it in the, the actual stores though, because it's only online. And what mm. we're talking about is the Impeach Forty Five shirts. Yes. Mm. So they got apparel. Uh, what is it? Uh, baby apparel and shit. Yeah. Is it baby apparel too? Yeah, baby apparel. Yeah, that's a fucking onesie, bro. <laughs> oh snap! You know, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, that's a onesie, bro. Oh man, yeah. what is this? Old Glory or something like that? Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. I thought. Do what? I guess it was with different. The Tom ones. Brady colors, man. <laughs> <laughs> with the Patriot colors, man. So for those that don't know, um, conservatives are really pissed off because Walmart is is, is having a, and I believe it's old glory. Mm. He ain't here for the facts; he here for the opinion. Mm. They got these shirts, mm-hmm. these impeached forty five shirts. Yeah, and people, the conservatives is really pissed off about it because you know we trying to encourage people to resist and impeach their president, man. Yeah. So they trying to boycott Walmart now because they are against Walmart's mm-hmm. version of freedom of speech. 
right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it, it, it's that's base. That's the basis of it, right? Uh, nah, it, it, it's it's mixed. It's what a, you what you say? What you message. say? Because I mean, like, um, yeah, this is a narrative that we we could all support, right? Mm-hmm. But uh, what 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 happens when it's it, it's not a narrative that we can support, or you know, some something that goes against us? Then do we feel the same way? And we then feel and, like go for it. Go in sell in, it, sell in it. the past, there has been mm-hmm. issues. Where yeah. it wasn't a narrative what that it, we yeah. supported, where they was oh. talking about they they had a shirt that that uh, basically insinuated that you should hang mm. um, reporters or something like that. It said something like noose, uh, the media, whatever, whatever. Like they had something to do like, with Black Lives Matters too. I feel did like. they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they basically I don't know if they were pro or against. I can't remember. But. Okay, so basically Walmart uh, came out with a statement, and the, the the basis of the statement was we don't lean. Conservative, or mm. we don't necessarily lean liberal. Mm. We do what the hell we want to do. Yeah, man. And we decide whatever it well, is fuck that you we want to do. You putting, you, you talking about discussing all these tariffs with yeah. all these other nations? You yeah. trying to make it hard for me to get my, my my shirts? Yeah, get them the fuck out of here. Yeah. So so <laughs> conservatives conservatives is mad about this yeah. though, bro. Mm. So my thing is, I guess, like you said, on both sides. Sometimes we talk about certain things that happen and we say, oh, you know, we're going to boycott this spot. We're going to mm. boycott that spot. Are we in favor of these conservatives or do we care about these conservatives trying to boycott Walmart because they got impeached 45 shirts? Mm. Onesies, nigga. You got your baby rocking the impeached 45 onesie. Yeah. How gangster is that? Man? That is gangster. Hey, I mean, <laughs> look, man. Nigga, my kid ain't even, my kid ain't even one yet and he already yeah, saying man. F your president, yeah, right? Man. And they doing, I wonder if Amazon got it because Amazon, oh, hell yeah. Amazon better have it because that's who um I feel like President Trump been 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 advocating against. Mm. So I hope Amazon got him. But you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Shout out to them. And, uh, um, but yeah, look, man, I'm sure this ain't going to work. Fuck it. Nah, <laughs> nah, man. So you don't think you are gonna see no babies with the impeach forty five? Nah, when I with say the, with the mama, with the daddy when, and the baby, when, when, when daddy I say, and the son. When I, when I say not work, I mean like nobody's gonna impeach forty five. So like, oh, of course, of course, let's not. cut it out then. Of course, like, you know what I'm saying. I'm not putting no money in nobody's pocket. I rather the shirt that you know what I'm saying that you you know what I'm saying we seen the other day or whatever that you want me to go ahead and get made. Oh you know man, I want, let, I, I want one of them shirts. Yeah, ASAP, son. You know what I'm saying? Don't let your president get you <laughs> punched in the mouth. Don't get your president get your ass whooped, bro. Don't let your little president <laughs> get your ass whooped. Yeah, man. Because a lot of y'all out here mm. going on what your little president saying, mm. and don't let your little president. Hey, yo, get man. Your ass what whooped, I what man. what I will promote though, man. Black folks, I think it's time. Man. I think we t- we take the muzzle off. The muzzle gotta come off now because mm-hmm. we let these so called. You know what I'm saying. You know what I mean Make America great again Motherfuckers Talk for a long time now mm-hmm. And we sat back Was like alright Y'all want y'all little Bilo. Y'all want a little presidency Y'all want that little one right there Y'all got it But yeah. You know what I'm saying Y'all been celebrating for too long now man mm. Like yo come on Got you We gotta start talking back man Don't let your little president Get your ass whooped Get your ass whooped Like we gotta start Chopping our shit Don't be afraid to say What you gotta say Speak up you know what I'm saying? Don't discredit nobody. Don't, you know what I'm saying, insult nobody. But if it needs to be said, then say, say it. it. Yeah. And stand on it. And stand on like, it. Like man. I like I stand on my Trayvon statement yeah, from man. earlier, man. Yeah, man. So yeah, stand yeah. on it, man. Yes, indeed. Um, LeBron to the Lakers. Damn the boy Thanos is with the Lakers, huh? You go, yeah, you go. Thanos? That nigga Thanos, man. Yeah, yeah, he Thanos, man. But but the, the only <laughs> S- problem, the S- only S- problem is S- all S- five of the ring, all five of the Infinity Stones, are mm. with the Warriors. Mm. But or 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 they got or they got four of them, and he's trying to get the fifth one. Is is, is, is they got cousins? Right? So which, which which they don't they got they got five Infinity Stones right now. They got Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, they got Durant. They Draymond, got Draymond, and they got Demarcus Cousins right now. All right, so my so, thing, my thing with the whole Demarcus Cousins thing, I don't yeah. think that Demarcus makes him a better team. It, but he, uh, his the attitude because they were, you could push them around a little bit. Other than Draymond, mm-hmm. yeah, you could they, punk they, them a little bit. They, they, they could punk him a little bit. Yeah. Now you are adding a new element that you know what I'm saying is the resistance to the punking. True, uh, but even though he's not coming into like December or some shit, but yeah, probably even later than that. Yeah. This dude coming off of Achilles injury, dude. Mm-hmm. And as, as 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 far as you know, what I mean, I'm not a basketball historian or whatever, but 
pretty much one only one star player ever really came back from a, 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 mm. a, a, a Achilles injury, mm. and that was Dominique Wilkins. Yeah, and he was like pretty much the same afterward after mm. he came back. Not necessarily. I mean, but yo, yeah, he, but, he definitely I mean, did his look, thing. When he star came players, back. like yo, you know what I'm saying, like a couple people came off injuries. Westbrook came off injury. It's that, Achilles. That, though, I know bro. Achilles is is a little different. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. But I mean, we would we we you're just looking for um cousins as a defensive presence underneath the rim. But he ain't a, and, he ain't and a aggression. Though. He ain't a defender. And aggression, aggression. He there, man. Aggression, he's there. He's there. He gonna rough some people up. Yeah. He gonna he gonna talk something in your ear. He gonna be like, oh, yeah, yeah. He, he gonna take some. He gonna take a couple of these texts for Draymond. You know what I'm saying? So definitely, definitely. That's what they need. But man. like I said, man, I'm, 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 why I call um LeBron Thanos, man? Because I feel like LeBron does not belong to any team. I feel I feel like LeBron belongs to the NBA. He plays mm. for the NBA. He does not play for a team. Hey, y'all heard it here first, man. LeBron plays for the NBA. He don't play for no team. Bro. That's it, man. I like that. Yeah, I like that statement, bro. Yeah, man. So yeah. That, that's what it is, man. And that's what that's where they put Thanos in. Now they're gonna all right. So put the pieces around. So they signed him for man. four years, hundred fifty four million. Bottom line, mm. how many, if at all, is he a bill yet? Why is he not a bill yet? I think that's his goal. Mm. I think that that was his goal moving to LA. Yeah, I think moving to LA, he said, you know what? Yeah, they might be able to build something around me that's going to win a championship. It's L.A. Everybody want to come to L.A. Nobody ain't want to come to cold ass Cleveland, Midwest, boring, yeah. blah, 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 blah. I've been to Cleveland before. I've been out there to Ohio. It's not the greatest place on earth. It's kind of yeah. muggy. It's kind of, uh, you don't want to live there. Niggas want to live where it's sunshine, mm-hmm. beaches, vacation type weather pretty much year round. Only sad thing about it is they got earthquakes out there, but it's all right, man. San Andreas falling ain't going to fall no time soon. Mm-hmm. So, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I think that that's, he, he went out there to become a billionaire. Yeah. And I think that LeBron, he got two goals in mind. His first goal is, or one of his goals is, I want to be the first father and son duo to play in the game and play in the NBA at the same time. Mm-hmm. So I think he's going to play long enough mm-hmm. that his son mm-hmm. hopefully gets drafted into the NBA yeah. and he'll be able to play at least one season in the league mm-hmm. while his son is playing in the league. I think that's one of his goals. Right. And then two is to become a billionaire. Mm-hmm. We know that he got the film company. Um, his business partner, Maverick Carter, mm. you know, they got the, the the agency and the this and the that or whatever, mm. whatever. I think that before LeBron is finished playing, he got the lifetime Nike deal. Mm. He got Kia deals, these deals, that deals, whatever, whatever. I think by the end of the day, LeBron is trying to have at least one more championship. And I think in four years in L.A., I think he'll be able to get that one championship. Okay, so um, And one championship is... And his goal is to be a billionaire by the time he retires, and then he's going to retire and try to own an NBA team. Mm, okay, okay. So that's how, my that's my LeBron. Com- so how much theory. pressure do we put on LeBron for to re- win a championship in LA? Zero. Zero pressure? No, I don't think he got no pressure to win. You don't feel like yo, he got the 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 the, the magic shoes to fill. He don't got the Kobe Bryant fo- shoes to fill. You don't feel like that? I feel like his legacy is already established. Nah, bro. I feel like I feel like I don't feel like you. But going to LA though, LA, yes, that's a championship city right there. You can't just so, go there, okay. so just and think, walk away with and just mad L's. The reason, the reason why I say that, and I'm, he's not gonna walk away with mad L's. But what I'm, the reason why I say that is because Lakers haven't been relevant in a long time, right? Yeah, and even in I think it's Kobe's if last. LeBron gets freaking ball a fucking ring. That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy as fuck. <laughs> Kobe swear jar. Kobe's last three rings, mm-hmm. last three seasons. Sorry, yeah. Kobe's last three seasons, Lakers was garbage, bro. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Agreed. So they haven't been relevant for a long time. And how long he been retired now? At least yeah. two years. Yeah, but that means so they haven't been relevant at least five years. Superstars on the market though for for those in that time frame. Yeah, so yeah. I I don't think that that's I don't think that yeah. that's on LeBron so to say. Yeah, I think that that's on management. It's on Magic, and Magic made the quote the other day. Yeah, oh, I'm so leave. Uh, I'm Magic Johnson. He knew he was gonna get that, bro. Oh, of course, he knew that. Yeah. It was it was it was all it was already all planned out. So yeah. I don't think that LeBron has any pressure on him to win any more championships. I think that. 
his pressure right now is to be is to build his stats up to be on par with one of the greatest players ever. But you can't three, be on player. that par unless you win more championships. That's period. I disagree with that because I, at, I, at, what I, be, I, I don't know what plan you won. I but. I'm an NBA purist, so anything you say right oh, now is irrelevant. Shit. Oh <laughs> shit! Everything else you got to say is relevant. <laughs> I, I, I think, I think, I think with yeah. that, um, he's. It's not like he hasn't won any championship. I hear you, but you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And and we have to realize how Man. hard mm. how people make it seem like. Oh yeah, you just you just you just go and you just win championships. Jordan um, won six. Um, da, 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 da. Kobe won five. People don't realize how hard it is, even yeah. for the Warriors. You no, know, people don't respect, don't uh, realize how hard it is. But I feel like people respect effort, and I feel like skipping team to team and forming super teams, your efforts are being discredited. If you're not challenging these dudes head to up, if he stayed on Cleveland and challenged him another year and lost, I, they don't, people gonna be like, "Yo, listen, man." If he stayed on Cleveland another year, he'd be a dumb person. Dumb person if he if he if he changed up the team, bring in some new pieces. How? But he's not an executive. Psh, and, and not they, yo. All the memes going around now saying that fucking, you know, what I'm saying? Ty- Tyrone Lewis is the new head coach. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, I see, <laughs> you know what, what I'm saying? saying? But but I think that's that's what's going on. We letting social media kind of mm. dictate exactly what it is that we doing or how we look at the sport or whatever. But how, so that's what I'm saying though, Dub. How do you look at it, man to man, as a sports fan? How do you look at it? How do you what 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 do you say about all this? What I, I'm telling you, what I say about it, I'm saying that I don't feel like LeBron has pressure on him specifically to win any more championships. So, but what? But and, and on the flip side of that, you're also saying that you will not take away from his legacy if he don't. I don't because I don't feel like he has any pressure. To win any more championships, so you're not putting on any ownership on LeBron to win a championship for going all the way to the Lakers. I I just stated what I feel like his reasons were for going okay. to the Lakers. Right. Lakers. Right. You know okay. what I'm saying? I so, feel like he should have had some pressure. I feel like, although I'm not rooting for him to ha- to, to 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 get any any dubs. I think that he, I think that it's a possibility that he'll get one in LA. Yeah, one after the yeah something something gonna happen with the Golden State to where yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I, so people, he's gonna he gonna sneak one <laughs> yeah definitely I think but he's not gonna beat the, the the them at their prime and it's not gonna count I, whatever it is I think that he'll get one more championship before this before the end of his career mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying I don't think that he gonna go to the Lakers and they gonna build this dynasty team or whatever at the end of the day man. A lot of people talk about LeBron kind of like, yo, uh, you know, it, it, it's just his legacy. And, you know, he built this championship team in, in, in Miami and he built this championship team in Cleveland. Y'all giving LeBron too much credit like like he was nah. some kind of y'all giving him too much credit like he was some kind of executive. And he was the one in charge of saying, yo, you need to sign this person. You need to sign that person. You need to. Nah. Nah. But at the same time, though, like, LeBron, you go out there, right? You go to Mullins Park. That's where we play ball at, right? Uh huh. You know, you know how LeBron get down. Okay. And, you know what I'm saying? We shoot, make it, take it. We start picking teams. Mm hmm. Homeboy pick LeBron. Which, you ain't picked yet. Mm hmm. Which, which squad do you want to be on, bro? Want to be on Mullins Park? You want to be on Mullins <laughs> 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 Exactly, bro. Gonna be a LeBron squad. Bro. Cause any other squad, you feel like you gonna take an L. Yeah, and that's who LeBron is. So he don't gotta be the exec, but he's the exec. You know what I'm saying? But okay, but <laughs> but at the same time, now look at the Boogie Cousins situation. Yeah. Now the tides have turned with that because mm. slowly but surely, whether people want to admit it or not, Le- D- Durant is taking that crown, right? Mm-hmm. So Durant is slowly becoming the best player in the league, mm-hmm. right? And which is expected mm-hmm. because his name been in in the in the in the discussion for a little mm-hmm. while. Mm-hmm. I don't think that he's there yet. Yeah, but he, he got a Tim Duncan kind of feel right now. Yeah, but yeah. a couple it, more rings is gonna be like whoa. Yeah, right. 
Yeah, so you know like you know what I mean. More MVP. They they looking right. at it like, yo, man, you got Steph on your team. You know, you got KD. Mm-hmm. Y'all want to go play for Golden State? And that was the same thing with LeBron when he went. When remember when they went to Miami? Not one, not two, not three. They went to the finals four years in a row. First year they lost. Mm-hmm. Second year they got this player. They got that player. And everybody wanted to come down and play the Heat. Play with the Heat, and it helped that. It's in Miami. You got mm. South Beach. You got a nice weather year round. Blah, mm. blah, 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 blah. Bad women. That, all that stuff. It all helped out for him to come there, for other other teammates to come there. So it's going to be the same thing in LA. You got Magic right. Johnson. People like Magic Johnson. Yeah. And you, you got gonna LeBron sell now. You can sell tickets. It's the Lakers. Yeah. It's a storied franchise. What is it? One more or one less championship than the Boston Celtics? Yeah, how, you know what I'm saying how, how does a uh, how does a LeBron hater feel when LeBron comes to your team? You gotta love it, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got you got to accept it. Yeah, you got to accept it. You like, man, yeah. Because I, I was really a like LeBron, LeBron hater when, when he came to the Heat. I was like, well, I, do, I got a feel now. Like, yeah, he's gonna get me some. And he yeah. got y'all two rings. He got it. He did. He did. He did. You know what I'm saying? Did. So, all right. So, how do we feel about the NBA though? How do we feel about the NBA? Should we just fast forward to the finals to the playoffs? I don't think so. And and the reason why I say that is because personally, I don't think that the Golden State Warriors are going to win a championship this year. I'm saying, let's fast forward to the playoffs. So you don't think they're going to make it to the playoffs? Of course they're going to make okay. it to the playoffs. That's but what I'm saying. I, fast forward to the playoffs. Oh. I don't feel like the Golden State Warriors are going to win three championships in a row. Okay. If you don't feel that, well, then who's going to take it? It's up, for the, it's up for grabs. You got Houston. You got Boston. Boston came together. They 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 came. They, they went to the. Remember the East is weak right now. Yeah, Boston even is weaker. definitely. Yeah, it's even weaker. Boston's definitely. We know that. Yeah, <laughs> they're going to the champ. They're going to the Eastern Conference Finals. They're going to the finals. Yeah, they're going there. They going that. to the finals. We know if, that. If Kyrie stays healthy, if Gordon Hayward stays healthy, and they just keep the team that they got right now. <laughs> Guaranteed, they're going to Boston the, is going to the final. Yeah, they definitely. And then are. right after them, you got the Sixers right behind them. Yeah, and then maybe even the Raptors and maybe yeah. even the Wizards right behind them. But you know what I'm saying? I feel like it's pretty much guaranteed that Boston is going to the finals right now. Yeah, we know that. And they play the right band of brand of basketball. Yeah, yeah, we could see that. We could yeah. see that happening. But what I'm saying is on the on on the West Coast tip. You know what I'm saying? Like, do we see how far in? Down, down the playoffs. So we see um, Lakers going. Well, we don't know what pieces they have yet. So we can't. yeah, it's it's, hard. it's, still, it's, hard. it's, it's mad early. It's hard. it's hard. it's too early to call that. Yeah. All right, we gonna leave that one alone until we until we see more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, unfold. yeah, that's what's up, man. Yeah, man. Oh, that's that shit I don't like, bro. Man, that's that shit I don't like, man. Yo, shout out to you know what I'm saying all the parents out there that love their kids. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I mean sh- although sometimes it, 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 it sickens me to see people put. Post so many pictures of your kids on Instagram and mm. you know what I'm saying Facebook and all that, yeah. but you know what I mean shout out to the people that who really love their kids and you know what I'm saying they want to show that love, but you know what I'm saying like fuck you to all the people that use their kids to take their pictures. Swear you jar. mother, you motherfucker, you how you <laughs> gonna use your kids to take all your pictures? If all your pictures, your ankles are in the fucking frame. Use a motherfucker for that, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Stop using your kids to take your pictures. And I understand, like I don't did it. Mm. But yo There's gotta be a limit to it Like you cannot be here Like you're walking down the streets At you know what I'm saying <laughs> IG man. stardom Yeah yeah yeah, yeah. You down, You're walking down my hand like, Who's your yo, photographer Like I'm down in my hand right now and, You know what I'm saying Like uh, videos of you looking around my hand Like oh yeah My hand is awesome J- JR ain't <laughs> in the picture Yeah <laughs> And your little junior over there Taking the pictures for you Come on man Got you Come on don't do that Don't do that I got you um, that's that shit you don't like, man. Yeah. Shit, that's that shit. I don't like. I don't like when people give good advice, mm. but never follow their own ad- ad- good advice. Damn, I, I feel like I'm that person too, though. <laughs> you, you that person? I, I feel like I give better advice than I do for myself. But God like, damn, nigga, you yeah. need to follow your own goddamn advice. Bro. Yeah, man, I do. <laughs> yeah, man, I hate that shit, man. When mm. when when people give good advice, you be like, yeah, oh, you know, such and such hit me up, and I, you know, what I mean, God, yo. I gave Killer this dope ass advice to mm. help him and his fam out, mm. and da 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 da, and then I get into the same situation. I just fuck the entire thing up. Swear mm. a jar, my bad. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying. If you gonna give good advice, yeah, 
before you even give it, take the same advice and but apply it to you. You know where good bro. advice comes from from I feel like if you're a genuine person, your good advice mostly comes from your bad your personal bad experience. Like yeah. you personally effing something up. Like if I jack something up, I'm like, yo, look, bro, that ain't the way to go, bro. I True. Seen it, I seen it happen. True, but if that situation come around to you again. Okay, yeah. Then, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, you should shame be able, on me then. Yeah, yeah you yeah. shouldn't be making the same mistakes. Yeah, right, yeah. If I agree. you given if you given advice, obviously mm-hmm. I done lived some I done lived some life before. Yeah. And I'm giving advice on experiences that I done went through. Yeah. If the, these experiences come back around, I should know how to deal with it better. Than to do the same things that I did the first time. I can agree with that. Man. So that's that shit I don't like, man. That's people, that shit we don't people like. give good advice but never follow their own advice, man. That's that shit we don't like. All right, man. Yo, Cash App Royal Kel. My Cash App name is Royal Kel. R O Y A L K E L. That's one word. No spaces. No spaces. God damn it. I ain't cash got, app Royal Kel. I ain't set up my you know cash app yet. Dub is going to set up his, his cash app. Where the cash Listen, app, nigga? Where, where the cash, the cash Listen, app? <laughs> any, any, any and all donations are accepted. Definitely. Definitely, man. Put, put something and you in know the, what, man? Put something in the jar, hey, brother. Hey, put something in the jar. Other than that, though, definitely right. hit us up, man. Bootleg yeah. Cable Podcast at gmail.com. Yeah. Hit us with an email if y'all want to see a specific kind of content. If y'all want to see something we want to cover right. on the next week. If y'all want to see t shirts, hats, jeans, sweatshirts, whatever the case is, man. If y'all want to support us, y'all want to keep on rocking with us and, 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 and you know, help us out to do what we do. Let us know, please. Because yeah. if y'all don't let us know, we don't know. I mean, exactly. yeah, we see the views on the videos sometimes. We see the subscribers going up slowly but surely. Mm. Uh, but we don't really know until y'all reach out to us. Man. Right, right. And just uh, if y'all ain't know already, we on Instagram, Bootleg Cable Podcast. We on uh, Twitter, and, and. Bootleg Cable. We on Facebook, Bootleg Cable Podcast. We on iTunes. We on Google Play Music. We on uh, uh, SoundCloud. So... All that. And obviously we all seeing us on YouTube And man. I, I, when we say um, Let us know I mean yo Let us know could just be You know what I'm saying The negative too Like yo look man I don't like when y'all do this Or I don't like how y'all do that Or Definitely I don't like how y'all play that kind of angle Whatever whatever You know what I'm saying Just, just let us know man we, you know we're I mean? taking we, in we, consideration. Yeah, man. We, we are here. saying we're gonna listen to y'all, motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how you strive, man. That's how you get better, man. Definitely, man. Yeah, man. So yo, bootleg cable podcast. Can't spell that. Something wrong with your ass. Shit might be bootleg. But ain't nothing fake about it. We out. Peace. Oh. He ain't here for the facts. <laughs> he here for the opinions, fam. All right. Yeah. Respect that. Respect ours. Definitely, man. Bootleg cable podcast. We out, man. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm.